Mm. What's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm London Brown. Malcolm Mays. Malcolm, don't get all nervous Come now. on. Come on. What do you want me to do? Welcome crazy. back. Now, Welcome London, back, did you friend. see when Malcolm was on before? Nah. Okay, some things. All right, so good. I'm glad you didn't. You didn't see when I was on? Uh-uh. Sometimes kind of it's brilliant. good to just jump in things and not know what's going That's on. That's crazy. Uh-oh. They're going to get you in trouble is essentially what they're saying. I'm not sure. All right, well, <laughs> we have Marvin and Uncle Marvin and Uncle Lou here. So this is really exciting because, you know, I'm a huge fan of Raising Canaan. Like, I do not miss an episode. Right. So it's exciting to have both of you here together. Um, London, I was telling everybody before, you were on that show. We did a guest appearance on when, we, when I was on The Breakfast Club, yeah. The Hustle. On Fuse TV way sure back in the day. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that was like 2012. I think it came out like 2013. Yeah, shout out to Princess Penny. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that was cool, man. Yeah. Absolutely. A lot of things transpired. We'll talk about that in a second. But um, And Malcolm, I want to say congratulations to you for having a Billboard charting song independently. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. That is a huge deal. Thank Last you. time we saw you, we were in LA and you were having a listening. Yeah. I went to that listening party. She mm -hmm. did. She was the star mm -hmm. of the listening party. Actually. I was the star. Yeah, you was the star. Good. I don't drink, so you the only one who had the bottles. It was like... <laughs> <Did you know? laughs> it was that, that was a good night. It was I a good time. That. that was real love. I appreciate yeah. you, Gigi. I pulled up for you. Yeah. I saw people on social media talking about both of you because you guys are both from Cali yeah. from LA right both yeah, of you are from yeah. LA but you play um, characters from New York you yeah. <laughs> do a good job at that. You guys do oh, because you. the New York, the New, the New York man, and the accent and the, the the mannerisms of a New York man is very distinctive. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, very very distinctive. Not like it, anywhere else. So. How did you get that down, Pat? Uh, you know, that's just that's just some actors' work, which is you know the studying the mannerisms, the voice stuff, and uh, I think just trying to tap in and lock into whatever the culture is. I mean, it'd be different if we was playing these characters and living in Idaho. Right. Does you being, know? about to say, does being here help? Soaking in the energy? Sure. Yeah, that's the Filming that's here, the, being yeah. here. Because people key. make fun of New Yorkers, too. Like, they, <laughs> there's like a stereotypical way that they feel like New Yorkers talk and act. Like, mm -hmm. you know, people love yeah. Stephanie's New York accent. Yeah, they say that um, the New York accent, my accent, is the most unattractive accent. <laughs> they did say that. That's disrespectful. I love my accent, though. Mm -hmm. I don't and I promise you, I haven't gotten any complaints. And you have hey. the Spanish girl accent. So it's yeah. just not New York, but it's the, I'm, I'm from New York, but I'm also of a different descent. So. Yes, and I, I have like, Six different accents. It all depends on the mood and the vibe. Mm. To be honest, it changes. Okay. Sound like she needs to be changes. on Raising Canaan, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, six different accents it is changes. wild. Well, you got an accent too, though. Philly. Yeah, yeah your shit's so super Philly. like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's different. You know, I feel like you know, every borough got a different, every state got a different. And, and then within the state, there's different Yeah, accents. absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what do you do, Malcolm, like when you're on set and you got to talk New York? At this point... um, First of all, talking New York sounds crazy. And you got to talk New so York. Good. <laughs> but, um, crazy. When I have to access a 90s queen, because that's the mm -hmm. thing is like, you got really lucky that Queens is such a specific accent, like like the Bronx and everything is different because like there's a transition of cultures. You know, the Spanish people came in at some point and then it changed the dialect. With Queens, it's kind of like, it was, what, it's been what it is for like a long time. Like, right. when, like the black Queens accent has sounded very similar for like 20 years, I think. So luckily, I think we had a lot of, easier references and easier re work that way mm -hmm. but um every day is just kind of like you we blessed enough to live close by in the city yeah. i have homies from the section and it's it's just uh it's audio repeat i guess and at this point we've been doing it for like five four how long yeah i feel like four I feel like that yeah for like four years it's almost harder to go back and, and Cal <laughs> like when I go back to Cali, they be like, nigga, you sound like you're from New York now. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Gotta get it like, back. Never, you know what I'm saying? But it's real. It's mm. real. And another thing we were saying was how badly we really want Uncle Luda to not leave the game. Like, why do we uh, so badly want you to kill people and sell drugs? <laughs> we really do. We don't uh, want you to stop. I think Is everybody El Chapo when they in they in they room in their bedroom. <laughs> Everybody's a drug dealer in the room. Cause like, you know, when I was on Snowfall, it was the same shit. Yeah. Like niggas was like, I can't believe Kevin gave the recipe to the Mexicans and why he <laughs> shooting people. Cool, be cool, man. Get this money. I'm like, y'all clearly have never had a family member murdered. Right, <laughs> First right. and foremost. Y'all clearly have never yeah. been in a street war before. Um, but everybody thinks that they El Chapo. So they just kind of like living out their drug fantasy, like I'm sure y'all listen to trap music when you go work out. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. Right. They just want y'all to, you know, 
fulfill that. We like know? love how Uncle Marvin is dedicated and loyal. To gangsterism. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like no matter what. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think that's why, um, you know, when it comes to our Uncle Marvin, I think people are realizing that he's not just one idea. He's not just the uncle that's eating, but there's a lot of grounded stuff to Marvin as far as the loyalty to the family, how he just... He just pulls up, asks questions later, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. That, and I think a lot of people that watch the show, especially the guys, they can really relate to that that side. Because sometimes it's like that you, when you when you are committed to your friends in a very grounded way, then it's like we don't want. It's like going to the club and somebody spill a drink. And it's like all right, <laughs> oh, now man, we, gotta we, we got to do this. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna we deal with you in the car, it. but <laughs> let's just do what we got to do, and then we'll, I, you know, I talk to you off to the side later. But you got to just. In, in situations like that, time, you don't have time to be politicking in the club. Somebody you mess around, get hit across the head, across the face, or something. So you gotta, you gotta go ahead and just move when you gotta move, and then deal with the politics later. Correct. So I think people see that and they connect with that when it comes to Marvin. You know, so shout out to people that have been watching, watching yeah. the show, man. I don't know if you know that. You know, you my favorite character, right? Ooh, real shit. You know, I appreciate Always. that. Yeah. Man. Always. He hates his character because he's guy. like so pussy on there. <laughs> No, I think I do. <laughs> this is a, she's right. We talk about this. No, I just think he's no, just Now I love the role. Right. I love the role that's created. It gives me range and emotional, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. dexterity. But when it comes to like on some real nigga shit, like I'm, I love your character. Like his character hard. Like except for the choking out of your, of your daughter and shit. After that, he was yeah, kind of crazy for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he was. Mm -hmm. But you're getting it back with her, yeah. Yeah. right? You know, I think that people understand. You know, that's the cool thing because when they first wrote that in. First, I had to find out if how legit that was. I was like, are they trying to over dramatize it? But speaking to people, you know, from that community, they told me that's a real thing that they had to deal with. Also, wow. got to think this is like ninety one, right? Yeah, it wasn't so liberal then. Yeah, Marvin, you know, he's the kind of guy who don't know nothing about that, <laughs> so it's new, and he just reacted. But I think people were able to to swing back around on having Marvin's back because they realized. Uh, Marvin's a really grounded person. And you were yeah. working on yourself. Like you went yeah, to um, anger management. Yeah, reluctantly, but he went. Reluctantly. And it was cute to see a little bit of a maybe love, you know, storyline there. Mm -hmm. which... Yeah, I know. I know people want to see that play out. Yeah, they took that shit away from I, you. Yeah, yeah, what happened? I was yeah. very pissed about that. That was, that yeah. was real bad. That's what I... No, she was a good sister too. I was like, it might have Now that might have made him leave the game alone. Right, right. Yeah, wow. at, 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 yeah she definitely would have impacted mom a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. But you know, that's all part of the drama of writing. Shout out to Sasha Penn. Mm -hmm. They always put a twist. Soon you think he, soon as the audience feels like they understand the show, plot twist, plot yeah, twist. Exactly. It's, yeah. it's there. So that makes I think it keeps it exciting for the audience though, and mm -hmm. for us too, because we never we don't people think like we just get the script and we know the story for all the season and we just lay it out. Oh, Y'all still we filming? Right? We filming right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh wait, can we say that? That's fine. You still filming? You're yeah. live. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, we're not supposed to see that. We're not supposed to say that. I mean, well, you wouldn't expect. Like, no, I don't, and we don't also, know what episodes you're filming. It could be back you, episodes. Right, you're not telling no, no, actually, it could the, be flashbacks. To be honest, though, yeah, y'all could be doing pickups. First episode is kind of a, like we don't even. Yeah, it's fucked up. Part is that we don't be knowing. Right, we don't know. People think. Oh my god. People with the show, people just like you know, be asking for spoilers, but we really don't know because they. We shoot out of order. Mm -hmm. Correct. We don't shoot together. So his storyline is really brand new to me. And then between the edits, they cut stuff out. And so it's new to us like it's new to everybody else. Yeah, it be mm -hmm. new when I watch it because I show as fuck don't be. I don't be there like, when they oh, shoot. Oh, shit, that happened? <laughs> I don't know. what I'll be sitting there like with my, like, damn, yeah. nigga. Y'all will be so sad. Like, And it will be sad if one of you dies. I'm going to say that. It's going to be awful. Like, social media will go crazy. Mm. If that shit, it will, you know, it hasn't happened yet. So right, Good. right. From what we've been watching, you know, we're yeah. only up to what episode it's two, the second episode of yeah. the third season. Listen, yeah. I'd love to stay, but at this, you know, they they're beautiful. It's like I had such a good time, bro. Mm -hmm. Like they such good people. It's like kind of like how y'all are. Like it's just I go to work and it's not no stress. It's not no smoke. It's like we just be chilling. We just do great work and go home. All right. Yeah. Well, look, this is lip service. So let's switch gears a second. You. <laughs> Put y'all seatbelts on. Okay. Well, first of all, I want to talk to you, Malcolm. I saw that billboard that somebody put up asking to be unblocked. Was that a real? Oh, yeah, yeah. Malcolm, was... unblock me. Yeah, that was Quit funny. playing. With the phone number. Yeah, that was that Did, was did you think that was cute me. or was that somebody put up a billboard? Did you notice? With her no. phone number. It said, <laughs> it said, quit playing 
amalgamates and unblock me. What city was this in? Had her in number. LA. 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 So did that? Did you think that was cute or crazy? Both. The, How long the, did it stay up? <laughs> Look at Lenny. Oh, you like oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you Changed unblock it. her? I, did I unblock her? Um, this is this is the thing about that. Oh man! <laughs> so you do know? Uh, I know this is new to me. I'm about no, to, uh, I thought you. I thought you. No, you didn't text. You didn't text me that. Uh, I think Haley or Rakai. They both saw it and was like, "What the fuck is this crazy?" We need some man? backstory. Yeah, yeah, we need nah, the backstory. Man, it's not. It ain't. It ain't much of a backstory. It's, it's somebody who I knew for a long time. She's mm -hmm. a wonderful human being, but she had fucked up pretty bad. Mm. And so I think that was her way of supporting my music at the time and supporting me at the time. And she thought if she did that, she could. She could at least get me to get back talking. You know, at least answer and respond. Okay. Um, the funny part is, she wasn't even blocked, bro. I was like, gonna ask you. To she wasn't even her. actually blocked. Like, it's not like I blocked her. I just, just didn't talk to her. Yeah. <laughs> so after she did that, I had to be like, you know, like, hey, like, you gotta chill, like. So that was an attention grab. <laughs> it was an attention grab. And, oh you man. Know, and she did everything, bro. She, she, <laughs> she caught your attention, and she caught the attention of what else? Because yeah. that's just one thing. She had to have done a lot of other things <laughs> as well. Because if you get to that extreme, <clears throat> that means this didn't work. This didn't work. This right. didn't work. That was she, like plan. She did F. a few things, man. She did a few things. But, Did she you know, pop up at your house? Um, it, the toughest part was no, ain't nobody. Man, what she? I'm just no better than that. Um, <laughs> look, why you look horrified? Man, this is I'm, I'm, this is new. I'm listening. <laughs> yeah, you the worst. I don't even know why you sit here cheesing because I'm about to mm -hmm. let them know about your uh, live. Yeah, you're next. His lives are terrible. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but no, she was cool. The thing, the hardest part was figuring out who it was because like sh she didn't claim the body. Like a couple of other females tried to claim the body. Like, mm. like they did it. So I, at first, I didn't know who it did it because mm -hmm. three people had pretended like they did it. But it was oh, her phone okay. number. Wow. It wasn't her real phone. Oh, number. it was. I was she put I was some like, like shit up there. She had my songs playing in the back. She was doing too much. Like, and I didn't call the number. My my uh <laughs> my my homeboy, her his girlfriend called the number and then she told me and I was like, oh okay. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. See? That is, man. You it must have put not, it down. I don't. I was. I don't know, man. Whatever. <laughs> Girls are crazy. They just crazy. This is why I don't say shit. Because <laughs> like, I'm like, no. no what about you, wild. London? What's the craziest thing a girl has done to get your attention or try to get back? I remember uh, <laughs> the crazy thing I tell you. Uh, man, ah, that's a crazy thing. I remember a, a one time. Uh, I was out the country for a show, and uh, so I do stand up. Mm -hmm. So I was out the country, and uh, this woman showed up. I was like, I was like, what are you, like, what are you doing? <laughs> out the country. <laughs> out the country. You know, well, hey, I saw your show. I just thought, you know, I'll come and support your show. Wow. <laughs> Who said I was going to be, how you know I'm not, what, didn't get married or something, or <laughs> got anything. Just like, what are you <laughs> So that kind of irrational behavior, man, I'd be like, I, I'm, I'm way too clandestine for that kind of stuff. I'm super chill. But that's real support. She flew out the right. country. That's real, that's real crazy. crazy, bro. That's I don't like nothing without no confirmation. But I want to say, so wait, so if, you if she had popped up at okay, one of your yeah. shows that was local, it wouldn't have been as much of an issue that she traveled Anytime all the way Anytime people come country. to a show, you know, I mean, people, if, if, I, if I post a show, you know, I understand people going yeah. going to show up to the show. But... The whole, the core, the undergird of that is the fact that there was no com no confirmation of anything. Like what, to, for someone to do that, that means you had time, money, and energy to waste. To do that, yeah. you, you, how would you gamble on going that far, not knowing if I was married on vacation or something, or if I, if the promoter said, hey, you know, we're going to cancel the show. We're going to bring you in next weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Probably my like, passport, mm -hmm. pick up the flight, the, you see the how hotel. You he went? He but not that like taking a risk and spoke. going for it? Say it again? Yeah, it's like, like shot. Because I'm going to tell you what, if you would have liked the girl, you would have thought it was... That's Maybe fire. That was my next question. Up. Was the pussy fire? No, even if I liked her, nothing without confirmation. <laughs> nothing. So I don't how long had it been since you spoke to her or saw uh, her? It, it had been <laughs> had been over a year or something. It'd been a while. Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. She came by herself. By herself. Wow. Oh. Like, uh, it just she was searching for the ghost of Christmas past. Something was. was that was just kind of so weird. Did you, what, so what happened after? No dinner or nothing? Or? No, of course not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Even not. Take it back, nigga. You said, no, what? nothing, man. You I don't play. I don't go for that. Because we wasn't send nothing anyway. So it wasn't like you know. Nah, like, <laughs> I, I shut that stuff down, man. I don't wow. move on that. That's energy. why you said at the house. I'm like, who's showing up to my house? Well, like, if nah. it was somebody you dealt with, you know, she might. If she was, if she's doing a billboard, then she might show up to your house. If you showing up to my house. You're going to get whatever you get when you get to that door. Oh, my gosh. Hey, right, shouldn't have showed up. Shouldn't have showed up. It ain't <laughs> have like you that. ever treated a girl badly? Like, let's, I know you have. But have you ever felt bad about, like, 
right now? Do you feel bad about anything you've that done, you've like done in the past? To Wait, a hold on, hold on, hold on. What's the crazy shit happening to y'all? Because y'all talk about this shit like this is normal. Mm. The craziest that happened to us? Yeah, craziest pop-up or craziest act <laughs> performed on y'all behalf. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, guys, that, y'all are just me? known for that. Yeah. Okay. I, I feel like what? guys do wild shit just because y'all yeah. are wild. What? Yeah, I think guys are kind of Yeah, I thought I could name a ton. I've had a guy come to the to my job and pull me out of my job just to argue. I'm what about um remember I was arguing on the phone? We were yeah, at I dinner. Yeah, I was like, Steffi, we trying to have dinner. She yeah, was like, we two were at hours dinner. Arguing. I'm on the phone uh-huh. two hours. That's not like and then he, and yeah, but he pulled up. We were broken up. He came, remember? He came oh right my god! After I, had a, I definitely had a guy pull up. I mean, he saw where I was because I posted on Instagram, you right know, here. whatever the restaurant, and he tried to show up, and it didn't go well. Oh my goodness! It was bad. Like Yo. he would post pictures from outside my job, like waiting. To, he would take a mm. bus. I'm telling you, so this is why y'all gotta state. keep a strap, bro. Is that shit legal for y'all? Um, no, I think you have to get a license. Yeah, y'all oh, need to get man. licenses every single one. Y'all ain't had no nigga take you to the gun range, teach y'all how to strap up. I think when you grow yeah. up in New York, <laughs> people don't have guns like that, though. Because, you know, it was so... And it's so illegal when yeah. you go to jail. I'm not it. used to... Like, when I would go to other states, like, if I go to, like, Michigan or Florida and people have guns, mm-hmm. it yeah. would always feel weird to me when people just had a gun. Had a gun. Yeah. In Texas, like, we're not used to just having a gun here. Yeah. I will, yeah. I'll say this. They just I, changed the law in Georgia. Everybody got guns. It, we kind of shift gears a little bit, but my crazy, pop, my crazy story was a pop-up. Mm-hmm. What? Um, and may he rest in peace. Oh, God. Y'all know that guy, the one that died. What, so, what's happening? <laughs> so what? Y'all know the guy that died. Yeah, we know. Yeah, he had a heart so, attack during sex. Yes, that guy. So, um, I had left him. I lied to him actually, and told him that I was in Maryland with my family, mm. and all along I was in Atlanta dancing at Magic City. Mm. And there was this one particular Monday night when the Eagles was playing the Hawks, and he came to Atlanta and he walked in the club. Ooh, that's crazy. I mean, some of those, I ain't gonna be lying to you, that shit crazy, but like, if it's a nigga you just fuck once, I can understand this being crazy, but a nigga that really fuck with you. No, we were in a relationship and I had broke up with him. Oh, so break up, it sounded like the breakup dudes but be he, having it hard. Yeah. Yeah, breaking yeah, up because guys get crazy when they're trying to get back together. Yeah, with you. do they? Like yeah. when they, they do. I feel like men just can't believe when we're done. Like I did all of that and you forgave and you me, and this yeah, bye. is what you're not gonna forgive me for. Yeah, Damn, I feel like it's the opposite of me. Women be blow that I don't want to talk to them anymore. What about you, Lenny? <laughs> so you do the breaking up? Yeah, I mean. I mean, yeah, I'm like, oh, man, it's just like, it's like, it's over and over. No, you know. And I, people need to understand that. I agree. I think it's, I think my whole thing at the end of the day, it should always just be peace. Right. It's just like, yo, if it don't work out and I've had women say, you know, hey, we can't do this no more. I'm super cool. All right, cool. I respect that. Mm-hmm. And I, I fall back. And then sometimes, you know, in, in those situations in the past, they'll, They'll go try whatever they thought they were going to try. And they, try and they come back, back. yo. I always keep it nice and flat and just even. I don't want no issues, no arguing. If I see a person, you with your dude, it's cool. I may hit you with, you know, acknowledge you. If he ain't, you know, I'm out the way. What if you didn't know she had a dude? Either, and I just, what, I see him or something? Yeah, do you keep it flair? Always. Yeah, always. I'm not, yeah, I'm not finna call no scene about nothing. <laughs> she, yeah. Absolutely not. Same. She's not giving me out my... Off my, off my square, never, And then do bro. a stand-up Tell comedy. That's good that. material. Yeah, I mean, you know, but look, because at the end of the... Look, <laughs> she, like, it's, it's going to be it's another so one anyway. So it's not even worth that whole thing. That's too weird. Mm-hmm. It's like if the guy, if she, if a woman I was dealing with and she found somebody else... Look, this how, is this how, this how guys should really do it. If a guy... I love this. If a guy... <laughs> if a, Let's say a guy is dealing with a woman... They decide to kind of go their separate ways and she's dealing with somebody else, but she still want to connect. He got to keep it so G. When he see her, let's say the dude is out of town Mm -hmm. and she like, yo, my dude's out of town, whatever. And that guy, the old guy feeling some type of way that she got a new guy. Don't trip. He should be so cold. 
He should knock her down with the with the nigga shirt on. Put, the, put the nigga shoes on. No, no you should what? not put on his shoes. London, you are a his different human being. I never knew you that felt like so that. That is so weird. That's so crazy. Not it's with weird. the nigga shirt Why on. Why would he wear the other guy's <laughs> shirt and shoes? A cold. Such that's a, a, unnecessary. A, no, no, no. So I, my thing, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. But if she gonna go there, then she gonna deal with it. He's like, okay. He got the dude. Got to be so comfortable enough. He got to be. Comfortable enough? Put that, put that nigga shoes on. Oh nigga. my no, god! Put them no. on his bedroom slippers. What if she likes it and she's like, all right, and starts calling you by his name? What? Even, even that. It's not even, <laughs> if she, look, at the at the end of this, this is, again, this is you got to be. Cause look, this is what happens. If a guy dealing with a woman and she is his thing. one, you know, it's the truth. If a guy dealing with a woman, she's his one, but she does something that's out of pocket, he gonna respond either two ways. He gonna be real mad and be, why you do that to me? He gonna do that. Or usually what happens is if she was up there and she decided to wild out, do something out of pocket, he can still entertain her. She just get reduced down. So at one point, if it was flowers and something sweet, it ain't no flowers no more. But he going to knock her down. Back so in the plane, like, middle seat. And you wearing his Gucci flip flops. Yeah, put, put the shoes on. Middle seat. Put the shoes on. Can we have a moment of honesty here? Okay. Like, have you ever cried over a woman? Yes. 100%. In an attempt to get her. Malcolm has. So. No, no, wait. In an attempt to get her back? Yeah. Or, you know, just cried. No, I ain't. No, I guess a little tricky cry. there. You said to. Okay. Like, all right. So what would you say? Yes. Have would you ever said cried yes over a woman? Because I got. Because I've been. I've. I know. I've cried when I know I fucked up bad. Like okay. when I did it, like, and I know that she didn't deserve that. You look Aww. a little teary eyed now. Yeah, you're because like... I was wrong. I was wrong as wrong what could be. What did you do? It, it was more so like just a, a level of inconsideration that mm. I had because I was moving. Like, I've always been honest. You know, I'm going to tell you, like, look, I got other females. I do what I'm doing. But it was like, I, I, I was, a, when I find, when it finally dawned on me that I was moving without consideration and I kind of realized it. It was like too late, like, and I and I wasn't crying because it was too late because I couldn't get back with her. I could actually. It just was. I don't know. I don't like hurting people for real. Like, okay. if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, bro. Like, I fucked up, and I'm a. I like. I really feel bad about that shit. Like, she she even told me when she was like, I don't ever really have to do nothing to you because you you go go beat yourself up. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I really I, I did her I did her wrong, man. I, I shouldn't have done that. Like that was out of. What did you do? I just didn't understand that. Like, you know, I thought if you tell a woman the truth, anything goes. Mm. What? I thought that. Yeah. Look at Gigi's face. Yeah, I thought that. Because <laughs> yeah, she's, no. she's a thug like I once was a thug, but now I'm a human. <laughs> and when you become a human, you realize, <laughs> like, I had to learn. Because yeah. I thought, okay, if I told you what it was, I told you what it was. But then there was things, there's certain things where, like, you know, there's still boundaries and there's still, like, respect. respect. Like, you can't, like, you can't expect somebody to be inhuman. And I was just driving such a hard line i was like yo if i'm sitting here and doing whatever i'm doing you better you better hold it together and keep it quiet so you mean like wrong. talking to other girls in front of her no that's like, regular uh no more like like i don't even i can't i can't do fuck that with her friends what? well i fucked friends but not without permission that's crazy oh um, i mean without permission I yeah without permission, permission i wouldn't do that you yeah, know but I've, I've i've asked and been like oh yeah it's cool run a play but never that none of these things seem like you think they're that out of pocket i well, want to know what was out of pocket up, like <laughs> right, right? right? No, no, like, she friend, sound look, like she's a cool girl <laughs> what the hell well, did no, he do fuck, <laughs> fucking out of fucking with a home. family members no fuck yeah, yes <laughs> you did you, yes oh my gosh yes, okay yeah, it was bad but i didn't but look i don't give a fuck if y'all was real sisters yeah it was bad it was bad bro it was bad but i mean you said you had permission to fuck the family members and the friends not that one <laughs> that oh, so that's yeah. what you did. You it, fucked it somebody's was, cousin. Not her cousin. Her sister. Not her sister. Her, her mother. mother. Come on now. Y'all gonna get this man in trouble. Oh, yeah. You gonna get yourself in trouble. You gonna get yourself in trouble. Oh my God. God. It's it the mom. It's it was the bad. mom. I didn't say that. I'm just saying it was bad. It's the it was. mom. Wow. It, was, it wasn't. It wasn't like. Um, can can we title this episode "Milk"? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hold on. But this is, look, I'm Mother, not putting on I no like nigga Gu fuck. Gucci slip flip flops and fucking bitch. Okay, so I I no, but that's your, bitch but that's your own Gucci flip flops. But that's because okay. she was out of. If the woman was out of pocket, right? I'm saying. I'm saying being able to be. <laughs> Be that solid enough to be like, yo, it's cool. I didn't like that move you did. It's cool, but now I'm you. I'm you. You got to pay for that. You see why I'm scared about what? this man? He don't speak, and then when he says things, it's uh, no, it's that's solid, bro. Okay, so let me ask you, you this. Let's just say you dated a woman. She's moved on. She's got a new man. Would you still go to her house? Because I feel like that's also a little bit. I don't know if this guy's gonna sure. pop up. You know, right. sometimes right. it's yeah, awkward you gotta be to careful go to that. Yeah. It's not the move. Yeah, I mean, again, that's the thing too. It's a, it's a level of you know, uh, guys not getting 
getting that comfortable in that in that sort of space, man, because it, it can get dangerous if that woman still got all these extra ties Correct. to guys. And yeah, it's just it's, it's best to kind of stay out of that stuff. Yes, well, if Absolutely. he gets to clean up mine, I'm cleaning up mine. I ain't saying I fuck nobody family member. All I'm saying is you did. I'm all I'm saying is. <laughs> Y'all not finna get me again, bro. He definitely again. said that he. I never did that. He messed with his this woman happened. who was that's a cool that woman. Is next level, though. I'm sorry. I never said I did that. <laughs> Y'all just made that into a situation that never. Okay, happened. fine. All I'm saying oh, is Malcolm what, is a motherfucker. That is not a thing. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we know. And see, y'all did this last <laughs> time. Motherfucking Malcolm. Motherfucking Malcolm. Bro, that's motherfucker. This is not. See this one come on the show, bro. Like this is crazy. No, oh that's not what happened. <laughs> I'm just saying that I could have done better in that situation. Okay. And it, yeah, and Leave it, was, it at that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now Shout I'm fucking people's you. mamas and shit. Damn. So you come on here. London was like, hey, should we do it? I'm like, no. But the mom must have been fired. Bro, I'm not I'm not entertaining that no more. Because I know now. Because the clip going to say, the mama, you know? <laughs> the clip going to say, Malcolm Mays fucks moms. And it's going to be like, technically everybody But we see what type of guy Malcolm is. London, what? What? <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> well, London is clearly Future's brother because he fucking bitches yeah. with the Gucci flip flops on that they no, that's, his Gucci it's, flip flops. It's, it's, <laughs> if, I'm just saying, if, get them arms back. I'm telling hey, you, yo. women act different when when, when a guy. Came off. Y'all don't come I'm saying, saying when, when, up, when a guy <laughs> and women know this. It's not, it's not even no. It's not even like I'm not even trying to say making anything crazy, but I'm mm. just saying. Guys know sometimes when anytime I hear I'm out and about and I see a woman talking to a dude reckless, I know I know it's, it's sex it's game called is trash. Sex. That's a it's fact. It's trash. Okay. Okay. When women talk to you different when you when, when at the end at the, it's all said and done. Okay. When that guy is putting it down, there's a different kind of respect. Now that's one level of respect. And then you know if you got to stuff together, got a job and got a career mm -hmm. and all that stuff. They'll have an attitude all these things are layers to yeah, respect. Have an attitude okay. But if that Race sex is trash, yeah. he, that's a good case. What is study, he gonna right? Stand on. Is that true? Right. So is it's it's a true. Case, trash. Buddy. What he gonna stand on? That's a mm -hmm. He got nothing to stand on. The truth. Right. That's, that's like them, like people quote. saying you talk in different <laughs> tones to different, different kind of men. Mm -hmm. That's a mm -hmm. fact. I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be real. I didn't even know that women really like like when when men was talking about how like like you know what it was Spanish dudes. Spanish dudes blew me because I I Pause. they introduced yeah, come me on. to. I got you. I got, I got his back. I got his back. What you mean? I got you. I got his Spanish back. Dudes I'm not gonna let y'all do my boy like oh, that. Oh y'all niggas, you. see this is what I, I mean. got you. It's, I'm just not gonna say. I got you. Because I, I was clearly talking about Spanish dudes. I got you. New York character really kicked the ass. I just know it is. Really do that. This is so you know crazy. I got his back. Thank you, bro. Listen, Thank I got you. back. Because you see, it, you see how they ready to all the way. Next clip. Malcolm says Spanish dude blew. He fucks mothers. It gets blown. By That's crazy. <laughs> okay. No, okay. I'm just saying my first interaction with Spanish women was how much they used to complain about Spanish niggas. Okay. Like, okay. About how like they used to argue and like get into real like real like mm -hmm. vivacious arguments. Mm -hmm. Right. And my mom from the deep south and my people's is old. So they like they like my mama taught me very young, like you don't go back and forth with no woman. You just leave. Right. Now as you I've don't gotten to escalate. Right. Mm -hmm. Or not just not just leave. My, I remember my mom was like, you don't never put your hands on a woman. Mm -hmm. But don't let her put her hands on you. <laughs> I was like, oh. But that's why I think yeah. when it gets to that level, leave. Because mm -hmm. just for the moment till things yeah. calm down. Cause that's when you know, you don't sure. want to get in a situation where she's attacking you for and sure. then you're defending yourself. And the next thing you know, the cops are there. Sometimes you gotta yeah. just be like, let me remove myself from this situation. Well, well, I also grew up in an environment that was totally different from my mom and my grandma. They grew up mm -hmm. like in the 50s and shit, like 30s and shit. Like it was like women were different. So they was telling me this, but I'm growing up in an environment where I had homegirls who was pretty as hell and was going head up with niggas. Like right. sliding dudes, like beating them up, you know? So I remember trying to apply that knowledge outside. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, I always had a positive, I never really had like the homies fighting girls and shit. I never really had an issue like that. Um, because I just feel like, like he said, like if it's a certain way that you respect and treat and touch and mm -hmm. hold a woman, you don't really have those. When they get emotional, you know, I've I've now oh but now that I'm older I do find myself wanting to say stuff back but they got the new sassy shit so now I really don't want to say nothing back because they say you sassy if you <laughs> oh have my a God, you like mm -hmm. yeah. so I don't say nothing back anyway but like <laughs> I feel bad the new sassy shit is fucking hilarious yeah. <laughs> now, guys like, are so upset about that being called sassy what? With, with partisan with partisan yeah. was oh here. Well, we don't he, have to have that thing he said want, that guys no 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 kind of way yeah no I get it no I understand what you're saying you said guys say what did you say. 
Guys say what? You say you were going to say that he said something. Oh, that's that a, when guys express emotion, people call them sassy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's uh, facts. Yeah, that's, that's what facts. he was saying. But that's duh, nigga. That's what they do to you. That's what you know. You can't do nothing but. Be. I don't think I've ever called a guy sassy. I have. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> Gigi don't give a fuck. I haven't. I no, haven't. I have recently. Because yeah. he was. Extra I have to be honest. I wish men would express more emotion. I don't think it's sassy it at all. He wasn't I think expressing it's, emotion. I he think really it's manly <laughs> to say what's bothering you what if and you're... tell me what to <laughs> right. do to what if, fix what, it. What, what if you're what's bothering you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tell me. So tell me. That's yeah. great. I, I like don't want to like that. over talk things though. Like I'm not the type of person that every time any little thing happens, let's talk about it. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. You sound toxic. You got a penis. Yeah. I, not me. <laughs> Every little thing, sometimes it's like, it could be small. Let's just move on. You sound like me and homies. <laughs> I just think, I, That's I what feel we like... Said. I'd I feel tired. like for myself, if something bothers me, I'm going to address it now. I'm very good at a time and a place. Uh, so okay, I'm not okay, going to start something while we're outside or for something sure. like that. Hell but yeah. once we get home and we're in a comfortable place and we're winding down, I do want to talk about it, even if it's something small. I think I respect women too much. That's my problem. Mm. Like huh? I, I believe what y'all say. Okay. Yeah. Oh, like, no, but like, but y'all, but I'm, I'm learning. That's not, that's not. Y sometimes y'all say what y'all feel and uh -huh. not what you, not, not what you mean. Even you saying like something emotionally. You, not. But, I, I will. I don't want to get in trouble for saying that, but I'll say that sometimes the th the first thing that comes out isn't exactly what you mean. It's 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 How in the world. In that though. moment. And mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm over here like standing on whatever the fuck first came out <laughs> like i'm like mm -hmm. oh yeah no you said that so you meant that so that's what we talking about mm -hmm. and then come to find out circumvent later it's like that ain't shit to do with what the fuck is actually the problem mm. that's why they always say when you're mm -hmm. talking about something instead of saying you did this you're supposed to say i felt like this correct and and then be mm -hmm. able to contextualize even me as a man i had to i'll tell like because things can escalate to a different level with men mm -hmm. we know very well to to choose how we speak to each other. Even if London mm. pissed me off, I'm not gonna come up to him and be like, you bitch ass, unless I'm ready to fight him. I'm not coming up to him and be like, you got yeah. me fucked up and do, 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 do. I ain't doing all that <laughs> right. unless I'm ready There's to- There's a line, yeah. Right, line. I, I'm gonna be like, hey bro, listen, you know, this happened, this happened, I appreciate that, so what's up? You know, and he gonna have to, and either he gonna engage respectfully or he's gonna engage disrespectfully, but I right. gave him the opportunity to communicate with a female, she'll be mad about the toilet seat being open, but she's not mad about the toilet seat. She's mad about you not listening to her. Right. I keep you know telling you put this seat down. Right. She's talking about mm -hmm. you not listening to I her. I would rather you leave it open though than pee on the seat. Because y'all also <laughs> be so lazy. You don't put the seat up she and then see, really pee really droplets on the seat. Look. And I'm like, come on, that's disgusting. See, look, she up. Uh -huh. really, y'all think your aim is so on point. <laughs> mm -mm. Like you could just make it over the seat. And now I'm like, what the... But see, you have an actual little grievance, but most of the time, <laughs> but most of the time it's like, hey, bro, you're just not listening when I speak. And that makes me yeah. feel unseen and unheard. And I'm, and I'm, I can address that, but it seems sometimes it, it takes forever to get to like. Sometimes we part. don't express it till we're really annoyed. Like <laughs> until, until it's, it's like late. a blow up. And it's like, oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Like you having yeah. a bad day. You say one little thing. Yeah. <laughs> now, London, I want to get back to something you said earlier when you were talking about how um, if a guy, you know, can fuck a girl right, you know, take it out in the bedroom, the respect. Has a girl ever told you that you were whack? Or do you, because I feel like every guy has a whack moment, like that y'all have had whack so, like, moments. Sometimes I think they're it's just whack not moments. as good as others. I think they're whack moments, but, okay. Okay, it, well, it depends on what it is. For example, I saw, I heard a guy today, I, I saw a clip today and the woman said, what would you do if the woman you was dealing with after two years, she says to you that she hasn't had an orgasm. an orgasm. And she asked the dude, she said, what would you say? He was like, hey, man, I ask her, you know, see what she want to do. And she's like, that's it? You want to feel? No, I wouldn't feel no type of way. That's all cap. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> no nigga, if, if, if he's, well, the thing about it, it's true. It's true if you're a guy who's dealing with a woman who didn't care about her end results from the jump. Mm -hmm. There are a lot I didn't know this. Now I'm new to this. I didn't know there were guys out here really sleeping with women. Don't yeah. Who don't care if she finished at all. Mm -hmm. Don't care if she's enjoying it. They get theirs and they leave. Now the reason I never moved that way. I got way too much of an ego yeah, for like my name to be out here and girls talking about, oh, this nigga's trash. Yeah, that group I'm really on different. some like, let's get it right, even if I don't finish. Correct. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of women think that guys finish all the time. There's been plenty of times. Plenty of times you don't finish. 100%. 
Hundred percent. Wait, are you guys don't even serious? Finish. Don't even finish. Be like, and it's what cool. makes you not finish? And lie, the condom on. It could be a couple things. It could be sometimes it's just like it's just not. If if she's not really what she need to be, uh, you know. Sometimes it's that. Sometimes it's like, uh, I just don't want to. That's cool. Uh, just sometimes the not... condom can make you not finish too, right? Or no. edging. No, I'm, I'm, no, no, I'm no, 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 I'm saying no, no, using no. it, but I'm saying some, it's harder. Or edging, okay, you know, yeah. like yeah, like feeling like you're about to come it, and then stopping yourself because no, no, you want to keep that could going. Be a thing for sure, that's edging. But we talk. Yeah, I didn't. That yeah, I probably do that. I didn't even know what it was called. Yeah, and that could stop you from getting a full good orgasm. No, but but if I'm. That's different. That might be a woman who I want to come for, and I'm stopping it because I want her to yes, have more. Yes, exactly. Dick. But if we talking about like like what you said, like bro, we don't really always want to like. It be sometimes it's like it's it's it doesn't happen as often. I think where women hear about men being like, "Hey, look, bro, like it wasn't mm -hmm. really hitting for what I thought it was gonna hit for. <laughs> like the pussy wasn't even really like what I wanted it to be." And you'll never know in an instant because a nigga gonna make himself nut. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that's that what I thought. Y'all can always just nut if you yeah, want to. Yeah, nigga like... can nut if he wants to. But but <laughs> but if if there's no repeat, and and he might even re and some niggas might repeat just because it's like they low on inventory. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not <laughs> like a, you jerked I'm, up before. Facial expressions. I'm not a repeat. No, I'm but you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not really a repeat customer if I didn't enjoy. You know right. what I'm saying? But at the same time, there's there's times where it's like it's low service. You know, but like, even that. See, so a lot of guys are a lot of guys are into the. Uh, hit and quit in one situation. I'm now, not like that. But if a lot of guys are into that movement, so I'm too. I move. If you a hoe, I move too slow. You're not gonna like me because I I got to size you up and down so that I don't have billboards. I move slow. I don't care how long it takes. If the woman is solid, she'll. I'm not concerned. You. I've had plenty of you. You move too slow. You taking off. Okay, well then. You got to go. <laughs> go. But if you stick around. <laughs> it might be good for you. Might be good. See, now this makes I sense. I know I'm a good. I'm fun. Because you not, said. Not even talking about sex, but in general, I'm good company. No, so I, I know, I'm good easy yeah. going, relaxed, ain't no pressure. I'm having to talk about sex. Solid guys know it's not a question of if they can. It's when. when they can. All that nigga got to mm -hmm. do is make that woman feel comfortable to do what she already want to do. See, and I refuse he to cool do that. that. That's where we differ. Now, yeah, that's where we differ. Now, some we guys differ. Do, with, with do all it. of it, I'm no. easy. No. Make me feel comfortable. Uh, <laughs> I need to feel comfortable. But that's Fuck true. This. I don't trust no woman that ever trusts me too fast. Don't trust me too fast. Yeah, yeah, But, yeah. but again, this goes back to I move. I'm real lax. Uh, yeah. And then, like I said, if she if she's solid and she check out, I'm like, cool. We're going to have a, it's, you know, it'll be a good time. You but, know, you do your white tea talk, and you yeah. did talk about yeah. aggressive mm -hmm. women. Yeah. <laughs> so aggressive in what way? Aggressive, like shout out to my my homegirl, Precious comedian, Precious. Uh, she got this joke about her whole thing is, you know, um, girls will ask, "Well, what that dick do?" Right? <laughs> and it's like, it's like, damn, like chill, like why you <laughs> what? Why you gotta go? Why are you this? And the fact that you, <laughs> what that dick do? I want to know. <laughs> yeah, go shot the pressure. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, y'all don't ask that. Y'all ever no, ask what that dick do? Said that in my life, but it sounds. Cool. I know Honestly, we're a different if, girl. Right, that's what I'm, I'm saying. saying. This is different. Malcolm would like that. If if if. He wasn't uh, on a billboard. Let me tell you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Malcolm I, 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 no, 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 I didn't like. No, no, you know I'm. You just said I'm secretive, so you know I didn't like that. I was like, what the fuck. You know, <laughs> secret nut. <laughs> but I would like it if someone that, let, honestly, if someone that looked like Angela said it, because I wouldn't expect it. That's okay. what would be hot about it. It's because like you don't look like you say that shit. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I've never said that. In my exactly. Life. But to have a girl who wouldn't say that say that is sexy. Not okay. to have a girl that you know says that to every now, nigga. I agree. Okay. I but don't want to date that? one though. No exactly. one says that. I tell no, you, there's, there's women who says that. Those yeah. women who yeah. need oh. validation, the thirsty chicks that are looking, for, who didn't have that father and different, and not even just a father, oh but God. whatever oh that. Oh my God. Whatever, who didn't have that. <laughs> this is, this is, no, this is true. This is basic psychology. <laughs> These women, and not all of them, because it's not about necessarily having your biological, but if you didn't have some sort of, Figure of big patriotic. brother, <laughs> uncle, grandfather, somebody that say, yo, you're special. You're somebody. Mm. These women grow up to continue to chase validation. So the only, only thing that helps them to feel valuable is like, what can I offer these guys right. to keep them? And he offer them their bodies. And after after you do that, then what is left? So if you if you so now we got to a point where in society, women are like forget what whatever value my body was. <laughs> if you got twelve hundred. 
if you got 1600 they got an actual they there's a number now mm -hmm. these days the 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 bag the fit the trip the flight first class the vacation if you got this amount you can have this so now after after you move like this it's, it's ain't no judgment it's all right good. it's not like there's anything wrong it's with cool money. i just don't want that for the person who's telling me what that dick do. <laughs> like, what that dick do. Because if you're selling, that's just cheating. Like if you if you gonna sell it, just sell it. Don't don't be trying to make me feel special. <laughs> but see, that's why now we're we're in a place where some you know the whole thing is like because a lot of women when I do these lives, a lot of women say, "Y'all, Lenny, y'all be talking about the hoes and all of that," but that's what the niggas be chasing. I'm like, they guys mm. have no problem entertaining that. That's cool. They they'll go. Knock it down, put the money down, all of that. But when we talking about who he gonna go home to, and cuddle and cry with, and pay bills with, and, and build with, he not finna build with that. Well, you know, some Maybe guys lead with money too. Well, like, exactly. Some guys you don't even do that, and they lead with money. Like, what can I do for you? I'm but what get does this. that say about that dude? Mm -hmm. The nigga who got the lead with that, that already let the woman know what, what he working with. Solid guys are not finna, they ain't gotta do all of that. Well, they don't me, need to. Well, let me ask this, because, you know, I grew up in a culture of pimps and hoes. So, right. Like, I grew up in gangster shit. So, I, I don't have the same perspective. Okay. In that way, where like, you know, sometimes it's just means to an end. Sometimes it's just like, like you said, the brokenness leads to like whatever. But sure. I think some people, it's just they, it's what they do. And I, I, does that mean that those people are excluded from true intimate relationships? And if so, you know what I'm saying? Can they, can a solid dude not fall for somebody who may have participated in that? He can for sure fall for someone that moves like that. But for him to fall into that idea, we got to look at why is he not, how is he, what's allowing him to even feel comfortable to move that? Because the whole thing about a guy is guys are into a chick that there has to be some sort of exclusivity to her. So if she ain't got no exclusivity, it's like, and I won't say no names, but there's some celebrities who have <laughs> dated some chicks in the game. And we're like, bro, why are you, you got her courtside, but she was just with this nigga and that nigga. We know how they but get But they out. keep doing it. Say it again? The niggas keep doing it. Guys like attention keep too. That's how I look at it. Right. They like, to be, they uh, the like to be, some guys do like to be with the chick that's going to get them a, on the blogs. Right. They like that. Mm, that's but that's what I'm saying. That's but true. those kind of, mm -hmm. those that says a lot about them kind of dudes. The yeah. And there's, they like, need a, validation. there's like a, a group chat of with all the guys in the industry and they tell, they talk about the girls and who got good pussy and who's trying. The fact that chat. there's a group Ever. chat. No, the, it's the truth. That's why you might see a girl doubling back because, and like guys don't care because she in this group chat, her pictures in the group chat, her videos in the group but chat. But even that, oh, all that's the group, what group that, chat is this? It is self it it is it wow. I've, I've seen heard it with my eyes. I've heard of that shit. But right? I, I I you, I you've know heard this. about I've it. I've heard about it, but it's like- We need that out. Huh? We need like a women's group. Yeah, Actually, we I'm should okay start our own. Y'all got those. Y'all got plenty of those. That's what y'all have. We need our own group chat. We don't be talking about y'all. Yeah, we don't care about men. I've gotten a screenshot of the group chat sent to me like, hey, they talking about you over here. Who was snitching from the group chat? Yeah, I've had the snitchers come through. I was trying to keep I got real homegirls out here. Real silent homies. Keep doing that good work. Let me know what's going on. Well, Len, have you ever tricked on a girl? It's you say chicky you mean like by just, yeah, but it's <laughs> yes. the deep side. The deep side is like yes. <laughs> no, I, yeah, what I, I want to about is what your version of chicken is versus like you know just maybe it wasn't necessarily a deep relationship, but she wanted like can she ask you? I want this purse. <laughs> Absolutely and you, not. No. Hell no. no. Never in life. I did a no whole purse? thing on this day. Ain't no Never way. You purse. guys not buying no purses. No, For a I, regular. Just a, I'm I'm gonna I'm be real. The only no woman, way. the only woman I bought purses for are women I've known ten plus years who I really fuck with who like if you, if you mess with them, I'll no, 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 I'll be real. I've bought things for women I don't even fuck on who are just like my friends. Like, mm -hmm. See, okay, got no so you got to know a girl 10 years to buy her a purse. No, I was just talking about my homegirl who I've known 10 years. I right. bought her a purse. It was her like event. And okay, she so that's really the only dope. person you bought. Nice. Like, yeah. So not, yeah, I tricked I on her. It. I tricked all on her. Yeah. But that's your friend. That doesn't really count. What about a girl that you would sleep with though? Yeah, like someone you're casually dating. 
And now, she's if, like, hey, I really like this bag. I'm I'm take, up, I'll take up. I'll put this. I would rather be a partner with her on some income property before I buy her a purse. Mm. Like That's a, a way bigger fuck with, commitment. No, it's exactly. not. Exactly. No, it's fucking see, see, I, we different. No, it's not. That's no, 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 a bigger no. commitment. Let me than tell a you purse. why it's not. No, for real, for real. Let me tell you why it's not. Okay. You just go went and put, spent 10 bands on a bag, right? You could go get a property in fucking Des Moines or Iowa or Ohio right now for 10, 20 down. Right? Mm -hmm. It's going to kick you back enough interest, 10% interest on that investment for the rest of the time. And all she got to do is upkeep it. Yeah, upkeep is a lot. No, no. I'm not talking about that. That's a commitment. If you don't live there, that's somebody managing the property. There's a property management that takes out 10% of that profit anyway. So you, neither of you have to Now I got to pay taxes on the real estate. No, you don't. I just get real estate. Whoever you blessed with it has to pay taxes on that motherfucker. That's what she's talking about. Now you left her with some things she got to pay. Now you gave her a bill. Right. No, I didn't. No, 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 no. We're not getting away with this. No, we're going to do this. Bands, no, you... first of all, if you give somebody, <laughs> if you give somebody anything for an income property, it covers itself. It's not a, a it's a, first of all, it's tax write-off for whoever owns it. I'm talking about if you buy her a purse, the money's gone. It's burnt. Not necessarily. The trip is over. Yeah, Y'all niggas ain't buying no Kelly bag for ten thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. You're buying a, the bags that that last long. First of all, I love fashion, so we gonna do this for real. Anything <laughs> that you're purchasing is gonna last forever. A beautiful bag is over ten bands. Yes, y'all yes. know this. Stop <laughs> yes, playing yes. with me. But you said twenty down but for the property. You can a get property, a, a Kelly. That Kelly is not going. First of all, the Kellys are already a little. But you can get a Birkin. But it might be a little this, old. And, and, the Birkin, and the Birkin resale value is not going like it turn. used to go, go ahead, because everybody no, then got it's one. Your turn, London. And by the way, if you don't get the, and you already know, if you're getting it on resale or getting it, yeah, the, the value is hold, yeah. Right. But if I get you this property, it will be yours till you are dead, and it will pay itself off. Hopefully, especially in if, a stable you, market. if you if you upkeep it. But go ahead, London. But that's why you got a property manager. You so, fine. What about a car? Another depreciating house. Who are these niggas? Listen. <laughs> they buying. They out here. Oh, I these know they out here. I'm going to tell you. They, I'm, tell you I'm, I'm glad you got. It's them niggas. <laughs> them are the ones messing it up for the solid ones. Correct. Because they are rewarding these women who don't. And, and not all. We already know that. That's the given. I have to say that because people be like, it ain't all. We know that. We passed the surface. Those guys who are putting that kind of money without no real return from these women. With no Real locked in no of anything, game. right? No stroke game. It's like, bro, why are we doing this? The thing about the thing about this is, just like, or they stupendously rich, you yeah. know, or they're like stupendously rich. Right. I feel like, rich. I feel like, this. I feel like if he you, don't care about you, if you're a successful <laughs> man, okay. right? If you're a successful guy yes. and you're dating someone you like. You, okay, it's, it's someone. It, it, you're some. It's someone you're spending time with. Sure, mm -hmm. you know it's someone who you can converse with. Sure, you. It's someone you enjoy. All right, mm -hmm. that's solid. Right, and. She needs things. What does she yeah. need? But, oh, she wait, wait, may wait, wait, need things. things. Let, let's find out what she needs. <laughs> she go ahead. Let it go. Let it go. I'm listening. No, let's no. I'm talking about she needs things. She, everyone needs things. Mm -hmm. now, let me take, we about, all have bills. For we sure. all need things. What about my needs? So, Hold on. Let's no, no, let, no, let, no, let, no, let, no, let no, it go. I'm, I'm getting there. Okay, I'm, let's I'm do it. getting to let that. Let her rock. Let's let her rock. I'm getting to that now. This woman is a woman who takes care of you. Okay. She is not just a woman that you had dinner with and she's like, uh, how much money you make or okay. whatever sure. jewelry you have on, right? Okay. Right. She pays she's half someone money, you enjoy. <laughs> sure. Doubt, per, bottom line, you enjoy this woman. Okay. Yeah, okay, I like her. And she needs things. She cooks she, for you. It's she the, you massage, yeah, she cooks for you. She gives you a massage. She's sucking mm. you. Yeah. She's fucking you okay. the way you like. That's cool. You know, yeah. you guys are watching Netflix. She's watching your back <laughs> and you know, sure. she, you're, you're like sleeping, feet touching. All of that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And she she needs, it's the first of the month. You're not going to help her? Now listen, here you go. Even now, if she makes her own it. money, you're not going to think, no you don't think now, it's the, okay the difference to is this. cover something? No problem at all. If she's if she's holding a guy down in a way where a guy feels like he's getting whatever it, it is that he needs. Enjoying. He's enjoying it and he's getting whatever it is that he he's feeling fulfilled within the dynamic of their relationship. What that guy do, if she's that one, Hey, baby, you do need you something? Want. I if got you. Woman, He's going to offer. But if right. she got to get to the point where that woman, if you're a woman, you got to ask that nigga for anything. You're not her. That's you're, 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 no, that's I agree. You're, you there, that's and a it's fact. a good time. But now but clothes in that man's eyes, don't get fed. That's, that's a yeah, rule. Yeah, sometimes people true. say you have to yeah, ask. That's not true. Then that means, that's not true. Her energy is enough. That's But that's what I'm saying. For me, I don't ask for anything. Sure, sure. I don't ask for, I don't ask, I don't like asking because I don't like rejection. Why you advocate for these very No, listen to what I'm saying. Listen, listen to what listening. I'm saying. I don't. I don't like to ask. I don't mm -hmm. like rejection. Right? right. But 
I I am that girl who gets intimate with the person I'm dating. Sure. So we're having a lot of conversations. You know what's going on in my life. Okay. So don't pick up what I'm putting down. Exactly. You pick it up. You're picking mm-hmm. up what I'm putting down. Period. I don't I'm not asking you for anything though. Yeah, so I'm just saying, if you're with somebody and you enjoy her, you know, oh damn man, I'm so stressed out. My car note is coming. My, oh, do you know fu- many times I, I gotta pay my morning. rent is seven thousand dollars. <laughs> just been I gotta pay my exactly, you know? <laughs> what's wait, 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 what did you say was seven thousand dollars the rent the rent is seven thousand dollars we're in new york not the mortgage this is new york city yeah, new york is crazy yeah you tripping this is new york city it's seven thousand dollars if he's only down, down, yeah. but that's what i'm saying gonna i'm not it. gonna lie I, I i don't ask for anything but it gets done it gets done it gets done you know speaking of asking for things i want to ask you guys right in the bedroom there's certain things that y'all like so mm. Sometimes it might be like a little like let's just say you like getting your nipples. Like, That's where I ask for would things you in ask the bedroom. For that, you know, huh? or let's just say there's certain things you like. You know, you mentioned testicles earlier. <laughs> so let's just say, <laughs> hey, pause. Don't say it like that. We did a you sound did. check. I said, testicles. Let's be clear. It sounds crazy. Wow. Doing the sound, he said, do a sound check. Yeah, that's wild. I said testicles <laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> testicles okay, one, two, three. Yeah, 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 right. It sounds like the way, hey, the way hey, you, you said it sounded crazy. Be easy, like, man. It'd be easy. God damn. Right, go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. So let's just say you liked, you know, hey, can you play my, like, do you ask for those things? If there's certain things that you like? I don't ask. If if I'm going, uh, whatever it is, I'm, I'm a demand to do it like I direct. yo do yeah. this I don't ask you so, yes, that's so give us an example no. of something you've demanded it's, quite, it's not a question uh, <laughs> it's not a question but you expect her to do like, it what do you like that's like you know that you tell a woman I want this do this uh <laughs> I gotta see cause, cause I never want to I never want to thirst trap cause then uh oh it always goes off like oh girl, he, that's what he like to do I'm finna do mm. I'm not even finna but let's just say hypothetically <laughs> hypothetically <laughs> speaking hypothetically so speaking I, I gotta start using one. one. Uh, if I were to say something like uh, <laughs> yo yo rub, rub my back right let's just say if that was the idea mm-hmm. I'm not saying hey can you you mind if it's okay if you could just like put your hands like, <laughs> mm-hmm. no yo mm-hmm. rub my back mm-hmm. yeah. it's more like babe yeah. rub my yeah. back that's what I'm saying I ain't never yeah, had yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, can you just please, please you know it, it's, a, it's a different again there's a different it's kind not, of what uh, you say you how you say I it I feel like that's yeah. the manly way to do it I'm gonna be real like I, I respect like when I'm in a relationship yeah. I'm like my man is like babe Rub my feet, babe. Can you get me a water? Do this. But yeah. I'm talking about it's, things and, that and might that's the not way they be so. Ask. That Correct. might be Correct. more like, hey, can you, you know, lick my nipples or? I love oh me. no, she's like, talking about things that girls like wouldn't go that way. Kinky, but I'm just nipples? saying somebody Nigga, might not do that, but a lot of guys like that. All. Like. Nipples is crazy to be. No, <laughs> you'd be surprised how many men like yeah. their nipples play. I'm be not, surprised you know they like Gigi to get after, them pulled after, after, and No, I'm not twisted. surprised anymore because I talk to y'all and y'all have surprised <laughs> no, me. No, that's, that's a very normal, <laughs> tame thing. I get you. Yeah. You know, just like women nipples like it, men. Women. Yeah. Nobody's what? ever licked your nipples? No, I'm cool. I've had it happen and I'm cool. I don't know why Okay, so it might just not be something you like, but some people do like it. Respect to them. Shout out to you. Shout out to your situation. Some people like to have their testicles licked. Some people don't. You know, Some guys like to get them pulled. Pulled. Yeah. Yeah, squeeze. <laughs> Everybody likes different things. Squeeze them. You know, stepped on. God bless. Stepped on with the oh, heel. Oh man, yeah. I don't know who likes. He said your rent didn't. No, he <laughs> said seven thousand. I know he did. She's like, nigga, if I do this, you paying my. Yeah, well, that was like but a strip club like thing. That, you always yeah. had that customer that, that wanted one, a one, foot in heels. their balls. Yes. Yeah. Can, can I be honest? I could understand charging for for that kind of service. Like the premium that you should charge on the level of inconvenience a man is, like I understand that gap. But if the nigga him, I don't, Right. I, 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 like my guy likes me to step on his balls. I'm that's just yeah, I can see him paying you rent. Step <laughs> on his balls. What about, things, what about strange things that women, a woman has asked you to do? Are you down yeah. to do whatever? Anything I'll do strange? whatever she wants to her. Yeah, that's what I mean. But not like, to me. No, but know? like, okay, so what's something strange a woman has asked you to do? To, Maybe, to hit her. To like hit, hit her. Like okay. physically? Yeah, hit her. Like, uh, like a slap, hit, punch. She was Spanish. She was like, yeah. Yeah. She was really strange. Was she Dominican? No, she said she was Spanish. Was she Puerto Rican? She was definitely yeah. Puerto Rican. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Date, man. Yeah, date. And unless that woman has gone through, <laughs> unless she's gone through some, and this is and this is real, unless that woman sometimes has gone through some real domestic violence situations sometimes that can be triggering for her. Mm. I've noticed that where sometimes women don't want your hand. I've heard women talk about how they didn't they don't want to be choked because that's a yeah. whole other thing for them. Yeah. Mm. But if Trauma. she has mm. been in, you know, in in some not perfect but decent relationships where it ain't no serious 
psychological stuff going on. That they they want to be slapped, choked, handled. They need a they want niggas to <laughs> handle. Yeah, bro. I accidentally became a dom for like two days. <laughs> you did <laughs> accidentally? Yeah, because I didn't what, know. What's your version of a dom? What do you mean? Like like I was asked about like I was a young nigga at the time. And I'm no details this time because fuck okay. y'all. Y'all, y'all be getting me. Um was this at a young some point mother? when I was young, <laughs> stupid. When I was younger, um, there was an older woman I was dealing with, and she was Caucasian. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, they a little different. Like I was purely from a black environment. So mm-hmm. I didn't understand certain lingo, certain statements, certain like trigger word. I'm just over here being a young nigga trying to fuck her into a mattress. And once that happened, I think she mistook the level of aggression for someone who could be prepared to do more so at some point she was like hey listen are you are you are you a dominant and i'm like at the time i'm just thinking yeah yeah i'm a dominant yeah i'm a, yeah, I'm a dominant i'm a dominant nigga you know like i yeah. stand on shit and she <laughs> stand on shit. Oh my God. no idea that what the fuck whole, she was really talking about right she's That's like you about world. she's like are you about that lifestyle oh mm. and i'm like yeah i'm about that life like yeah i'm about that <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know. What was her, what was her was... dumb ideas? So what she had me do was, so what she did was, she bought me this thing that, that like, cause she worked in the office above me. So what she would do is, she she buy me this thing that I could trigger whenever she, whenever I wanted to, like, I guess, shock her, shock her vagina. Okay. But I would I, like vibrating to, panties. But you have to replace the batteries. You got to charge that bitch, like. And I was a young, I wasn't finna do all, it just sounded like too much work. So I would forget to do all that. And then she'd go crazy on a text message. And I think that I was supposed to like punish her for going crazy on the text messages. But I would just be like, yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I'm no, not even, I'm sorry. I just wouldn't, I'd be like, all right, my nigga, like, cool, whatever. This like, white lady you know, gonna get me arrested. She tripping, like, yeah, because I'm worried about jail. Like, I'm like, I ain't getting yeah. into it with you. And so I would just ignore her. But apparently, it's supposed to be, like, they trip. Like, you're supposed to punish them. They're doing things to get punished. They're doing things. It's mm. a whole relationship. Yeah. But I was like, this is a lot of work. I'm, I don't want to do this anymore. Did she pay you? Did nah, pay I didn't you? know what was going on. I, it was a few <laughs> you days. You could have got paid. You probably would have got paid had you're you gone right. through it. Yeah. Right. How did you break like, it off? You just stopped? I was like, you tripping. Like, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> like, you tripping, lady. I was like, you tripping, lady. Like, I'm not part of I love how Malcolm accidentally gives details. Oh. Once he said, I ain't telling y'all. I ain't telling y'all. Yeah, yeah. He'd be like, she worked on She worked on oh, shit. No, but there, no name, no. Y'all tripping. See, yes, you're right. I got to e- <laughs> edit that, that out. Damn, because y'all, y'all do that shit good. And now, like, London, what about you? Have you ever had a woman ask you to do something that was a little out of the norm? Uh, nah, because I'm, you know, as as a guy, I, our thinking is way over, is way over there. So, is I don't think I've ever been asked to do anything that I felt was out of the norm. Uh, but I will like it's just finding out what the line is. So it go from like you know even just walking with if a guy's like walking with his hand behind the woman's like behind her neck. It's like okay. Then even when he kiss her, grab her face or throat, see what the line is. Like the, <laughs> you know it's just like I forgot that there's a term for it, but there's a term about the pressures that animals have when they bite their young mm. and they mm. bite them enough just to carry them strong but enough to keep them, but not, not to, to damage like them. them. Yep. And it's that sort of line where the one can be like, you know what? That, it's just, an, it's just like even like spanking them. You going, you got going to the bathroom or something, girl in there cooking and just to spank just sitting like, Oh, Oh, shoot. it's like a little, that whatever that chill is, <laughs> that just that thing of just like, <laughs> yeah. Anything mm. else is too much work. It's too much work. It's a lot. You're like, I'm not doing all that. <laughs> I would, but like, oh, it's too much for like a consistent thing. <laughs> oh, no. I, I'm right. I'm right in there. I, I like, I like. <laughs> He's like, look, dude, look. <laughs> okay. He's like, you know. But like outfits and shit, like leather and fur and like, shit. You're like not that. getting dressed up. She's not getting dressed <laughs> oh, up. I'll make, no I, feathers. She better dress up. You are? Oh, okay. He's he different. Dress up. Like now, lingerie <laughs> or dress up like costume. I'm talking about like, like perverts and shit. I, uh, not like, <laughs> That's I mean. That's crazy. Uh, no disrespect, I like sorry, clothes. Yeah. I think I know a lot of guys that like the whole like trench coat and just heels. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. You like that? I want fits. <laughs> I want fits. You want the fishnet with the yeah. garter and the See, the thing you about Victoria's Tarter. Secret is, is, is Victoria's Secret is nice for other women. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't want nice. I want uh, oh, yeah. nasty. Nah, Magic Victoria's City. Secret I want the, is some I want bullshit. A, oh, Good slut. Eye, but you won't pay for that. You will pay I for those pay clothes. For yeah, okay. 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 Now here's the reasonable. Thing, if the woman says, 
hey, you know, I want you to buy I this, love this voice he puts and on. buy that. <laughs> I want you to buy this and buy that. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, you, you want, want me to buy it? Okay, this is the exchange. Okay, I'll buy it. Uh, but if I buy it, it stay in my place. <laughs> okay, fair mm-hmm. enough. Well, why can't okay. go? That's not why is that? Well, you th- you think I'm finna buy you a? That's pretty smart. You think I'm finna that. build your closet for some other nigga for you to strut around and wearing the shit that I bought you <laughs> and wear your Gucci flip flops? <laughs> it's cool. Well, I'm only wearing it for you anyway. Then you know it shouldn't be no problem for it to be here. And wow. a lot of times, what that does, if that is, if that is, if that's ever a situation, Gigi, like you it my calms that conversation here. down real quick. And the woman, I feel like you've been through some shit. Uh huh. I feel like well, I'm not 21 either. I know, but I'm saying so, like if if it, but it feels like. The fact that you want her to wear leave the lingerie smart. at I your never house. Thought of that in my life. <laughs> no, but listen, but, it's not about like where did that come from? Smart. It comes from just knowing how some women operate and move. Because mm. I gotta uh, look, guys have to realize. I'm like, if you, if that ain't your girl and y'all ain't committed and locked in, that ain't your girl, bro. She ain't your she girl. Ain't your so girl. you gotta. Uh, the, the nigga has to really understand and be like, yo. See, guys have to. I'm not saying that all women cheat. I'm not saying they all got another side, nigga. But right. the guy, for the sake of his e- emotional stability, yeah. he has to be able to entertain the thought that his woman is entertaining somebody. Right. I'm not saying that she is, but he got to play that sh- those scenarios so in his mind, know how to so that that nigga keep his he cool. keep collected. The how can guy, you? That's like keeping your walls up, though. No, yeah, it's not. How can you give something no. your all if that's in your but head? But it's not it's automatic. It's doing it safely. So if I like, look, every woman I've ever dealt with, I do not presume that I am just Master King Dick out here. Even if they tell me, even if 15 of them in a row have told me I'm Master King Dick, it doesn't matter because there may be something that I'm shortcoming on emotionally or something that she has going on with her that maybe I'm not there for. My ego's not massive enough to think that there's not a London out there, there's not a KP out there, that there's not somebody out there that is exactly fit for what she needs right now in this moment. And if that exists, I have to be able to understand and accept if things go left, did what I give or what I paid for, whether it was a Kelly bag, whether it was an apartment <laughs> complex, whether it was anything, an item, lingerie, that I can let it go without no malice in my heart because I already, I've already given it That's to That's like giving. preparing to that. you know what I'm saying? break up. No, get, no, no, no. If a I'm guy not, buys me a Kelly bag and we break up, you could take your Kelly bag back. Here you go. You Shut can't, up, but are, no are bag we going like to actually that. give Bye. it back? He can have it. <laughs> but what, if he, if he I mean, if he little, feels away. That's what, And that's where it gets dangerous because- it's like the guy at the it. it's like the guy at the bar who buys a girl a drink, then tries to get us a number. The girl says, "You know, I, I I'm I'm cool for the <laughs> night." Then he get tight. You can't. His intentions on how he gave was out of pocket in the first place. Mm-hmm. Correct. Nigga buy the drink. Hey and man, how you go. doing? Stacy and, and right. uh, Aaron, y'all both look y'all some pretty sisters. And y'all want to drink them? Drink. Yeah, we take two Hennessy. Okay, uh, just a little older. We will take some Adioses. Okay, uh, here go your Adios, mm-hmm. and walk. Walk, walk it off. You're, you're done. It's not like I'm finna buy you a drink in exchange for. And that's another. That's thing. the weakness. Mm-hmm. That's another thing. And if a nigga buy you a Kelly bag, if a nigga really been out, like I've really been outside, <laughs> their sizes. Mm-hmm. Where that bag going? <laughs> like I'm gonna find another bitch your size to get a bag to. Like who likes your no, color? No, I mean if you no. feel a way about it, you can take it and sell it and get some money back. I love your attitude for that. Most of the time, if you, if, if <laughs> I, I mean, if you feel if you, if you feel so bothered here, baby, God bless you. If take your so bag. Back. That's, really, that's should, not. He shouldn't even be on that. He shouldn't have be been bothered. in you if you feel yeah, like you'd be surprised. surprised. My thing is, if I'm with a guy, surprised. right? Like my man, I don't think that he's. Gonna, I, I'm not thinking like, oh, there's gonna be another girl. He's gonna da 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 da. Like yeah, in my same. head, if I'm not around, he's gonna still be like wanting to come home. Sure, he'll oh, be doing that's what that's he's valid. doing. I don't look at it like, oh, he's got this girl that could be doing this or that or this. So I got to prepare myself. I just live for like where we are with each other. We don't have any issues. I'm not like going through his phone. I'm not thinking right? that he's that's doing valid. nothing else. But that's that's same. different than than like I'm. We're not saying that he should be preoccupied with what you're doing. What we're saying right. is, so he doesn't end up at your job or pulling up at your food spot <laughs> or He's, trying to put you in a van, right? Like, because because <laughs> my my thing is, I'm so cool that you could come tell me if you did some shit, and we could figure it out or not do it. We mm-hmm. could either not do it, not because whatever it was, like it's cool. So if a woman cheated on you, you could still be with her if she. It depends on what it was, and it depends on the situation. Mm-hmm. It depends on how long, how much equity. It depends on what I did. It depends on what she did. Because the only reason I have an issue with it is. Why you didn't come to me before so we could figure out something or an arrangement where I could either make up for whatever your feeling is lacking or whatever? Because I've been blessed enough where, and I don't want to jinx myself, thank God, but like I've never had a woman, I've had most women, I don't really want to be monogamous and they want to be. Mm-hmm. So 
it would be an interesting situation if it was with a woman who wanted to be non-monogamous and I wanted to be. And if that was the case, it depends on what she's bringing to my life. What is it that you're contributing that would make me feel cool with that? Because it can't just be sucking dick and cooking. Because everybody wants to suck dick and cook for me. <laughs> it has to be something else. It's, what is it? What does? What's that? Me? Something Maybe else. Maybe ambition. You want to know what it somebody's... is for me? Okay. It, it has to be like first. You have to have been like that before I met you. It mm -hmm. can't be you got like like. It has to be like you. Always... I think that's smart. I feel like yeah. I feel like you should take a girl for exactly who what she is up? when you meet her. If mm -hmm. I met you like that, and I fell yeah. In love if you're with just you cooking like for that. me and you're a lazy bitch and you just started cooking, mm -hmm. that doesn't count. Yeah, yeah. But if you was, but if you were an entertainer and you was at Magic City being the biggest boss on the planet when I met you, I can't expect you to not be that when I wife you. Mm. If you are that, mm -hmm. it may transition, you may change, you may shift, we can work with that. But I got to know your baseline was I'm that bitch on that pole. Right. So I can't be acting weird that I got a bitch on the pole. That's right. weird. You can't like, be like, all right, stupid. now you got to get off. It's fucking yeah, dumb. Gotta, yeah, she well, that's what he did. Uh, <laughs> 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 Didn't work. <laughs> Didn't work. Huh? Well, I, I think that if you have a secure man and, and that's what it is, then that's what it is. Just like me. If I meet a woman like that and she doing all that, for me to feel comfortable, there's, you know, I got to be comfortable, comfortable. You got to be on some, you got, I got to know like, what's up, what's up. Like, mm. you got to be able to, I ain't worried about shit. <laughs> I'm the bad bitch in a relationship. Oh my god! Yes, I'm yes. him. Come on, baddie. If it's like that, <laughs> I I'm in my bad bitch season. Timothy. If you popping like that, <laughs> hey, if you want to fuck London and, and my guy right here and do that, and you got a big bag and you the baddest bitch on the planet and you moving like Rihanna, that's cool. <laughs> make sure I make sure I'm good. Make sure I'm good. <laughs> my mama gets sick with cancer. Who paying the bill? You paying the bill? Who well, paying the yeah, let's million? Just say there was a young lady that Malcolm used to deal with, and then you met her. Would that bother you or, or would it be okay? Would you check with Malcolm like, yo, is it cool if I... Oh, this is a good one. Yeah. No, this is... Well, I have a line. I've, I've, I've done shows and, you know, the, the girl that tried to come say something to me, I'm like, yo, but you with my man. I, don't, I ain't with him and all of that. I said, yo, bro, yo, this, a guy gonna let you know where he where he stands. Really hey, saying? bro, that's you? Oh, yeah. That's, okay. Even if they not, that's enough to just say, yo... I fall back. So I don't I don't really like dealing with that yes. line yeah. because it just gets mm. just gets interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and the and the male ego is just one of those things. Now there I've had shows or events and a, a woman has been there to see me and the guys say, Yo, I say, Oh man, go ahead. All the the shutdown energy has to come from the woman. She got right. all the power. It's not about me going and trying to police every nigga she's is in her face. She has all power. That's why when when a woman tries to come up and say to a guy, hey, um, you know, it's her dude. She said, hey, James, um, that guy over there was trying to talk to me, give me his number. He all in my DMs. The first question is, well, what what energy was you giving off that made that nigga feel comfortable enough to even yeah. approach you? Oh, God. Because when a woman want to shut something down, they, y'all got- He got a lie. Y'all got, got a, a cold, lie to make some shit. Y'all got a cold way <laughs> of looking through a nigga and around him. Like if, if, you want, if she want to entertain him, she'll entertain him. That's why even with cheating, women like to say that when a man, when a man cheats and a woman cheats, it's, you know, it works both ways. It does not. It is not the same way. When a woman mm -hmm. cheats, it's a completely different weight on it uh, for one let's just go on a basic level on a basic level women are planners we know that women yeah, are planners they're plan incredible planners she made an escape artist plan for that right dick. so if she made if all the energy that it takes <laughs> between getting her nails done hairs done matching bras getting waxed all finding the babysitter moving the schedule around still cooking her man something to eat when she she <laughs> right. it's a she whole is. Yeah. It's, lying it's like, up. girl, we're going to take these pictures and then we're going to post it next year. Yeah. Oh, like we're on vacation. Go to the club for move the first around. 30 minutes. Make sure you don't it's, post nothing because yeah. I said I'm with you. It's literally a diabolical. Guys cheat because it just happened. It's that day. Yeah. But I'm it saying, yeah. no but a guy, in order no for a guy to get cheat, caught. Yeah, exactly. for a guy to cheat, it don't need all of that. All a woman <laughs> has to be is legal, willing, and breathing. Breathing. That Lord. is it. Yeah. She don't have to have a name, she don't have to face None of that. Just what about if um if one of your what if a girl you're interested in got curved by one of your friends? Like what if your one of your friends tried to talk to her and she was like, oh no no no, I can't do this. Wait, wait the girl and curved then, him. Yes. Oh, she's open game. As he yeah. Said, so yeah, she, she curved him. him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, now if he started. curved her and she tried to talk to him, then <laughs> what if she curved him and he was like like super rich and had everything going? Every girl wants him and she still curved him. I, I don't know because we curved like. 
he could niggas. I, I, Wait, so if if Malcolm had all have all the money, yeah, and there was right. a girl, which I don't. And <laughs> but let's just say hypothetically yes, speaking, no and the girl wants to talk board. to him, and he turned her down. Or yes, she turned... yes, he no, no, she turned him down. Oh no, no she's she free game. she yeah, that's yeah, pretty, yeah that doesn't she curved it. And the way these niggas move, that might be a trophy. Yeah, he'll like, love that. Wow. A guy yeah. would love that. Yeah, that makes him feel good. It would make him feel like she's picky. She's not yeah. just getting with anybody. Okay. For everybody, curved, I love. Yeah. It. I, yeah. Don't tell me my bitch didn't fuck you. <laughs> that make me happy. <laughs> I know that's right. I, like, know that's man, right. She, <laughs> I don't know how you did that, man. You know she really bougie and stuck up. I'm like, nigga, she paid my first shit. I don't know what you're talking about, nigga. That's my bitch. You Travis. That now that woman gets back. Like I will get a bag for my woman mm. like i'll get anything from my woman if that's <laughs> mine if she mine okay what crazy. if somebody got you a gift and you didn't like it would you be honest yeah yeah i'm a, and that's probably part of the problem i'll be like why you do this <laughs> not why you do this. what yeah, about so you he, would you be honest <laughs> i wouldn't say that i would <laughs> I would not say. if i got a gift that i didn't like uh, uh this but let's go let's go before that though this is why if it comes to get <laughs> Because the holiday is a tip for everybody because the holiday is coming up. Yes, it is. Well, a lot of women are trying to figure out what to get the guy and they're trying to figure out how to do it. (laughs) This is what you should do. If you don't know, you're done with a guy, you don't know how to give him a gift. Offer him five ideas. Out of those five, this, this is called being a benevolent dictator. Meaning, you offer that guy five ideas. You say, man, I don't know if he like Jordans. He like, he may need <laughs> some on, card baby. seat covers, whatever it is. When you present those five things out of the five, let him choose which one of those things he wants without you, you you don't have to choose it for him because you try to surprise him and it might be the wrong size the wrong color if he a sneaky guy like me he probably already got the shoes eight mm-hmm. months ago give him five options this way he still you still have the final say because you presented these things but he still gets the choice because you presented it's like it's like when a, a guy and a woman to go out to dinner wait hold on Gigi, what you was about to say i was gonna ask you you use that same logic Absolutely. You're giving five options. Here, here, <laughs> go, no, here you go. Here you go. The options right here. A woman. If I, let's say I want to go out and have dinner with a woman, and she and it's like, yo, I want. Let's say I want Chinese food and Mexican food. I can go with either one of those tonight. Mm-hmm. But in order for me to control the situation, but give her and allow her to be included, hey, babe, what you want to eat? You want Chinese or Italian? What you feel like? Oh, I had Italian the other night. Let's go with Chinese. Cool. I win, she win. <laughs> Boom. That's good. It's very this solid. It's very solid. That nigga's different. That's yeah, very <laughs> solid. This nigga's real. But it's all, it's all grounded. It's just, it, I'm, I like dealing from a place of logic and just soundness. So it's not, just take the emotions I out. I don't lie. I never Let's thought of this lock it up. Life. But it works for a woman in the gift. She's trying to figure out, damn, we get this nigga. I don't know. I know he likes shoes. I know he, let's say Malcolm, I know he's doing his music thing. Mm. May I get him an MP3, get him a keyboard, mm-hmm. get keyboard. him some, whatever. I am old. She present those things. <laughs> he's able to say, you know what? I could use a keyboard. I ain't got a keyboard. I got Jordans. I got the microphone. And I think the keyboard, now he actually picked something that he want. And she ain't got to be figuring out in, in some place in ambivalence about what to do. She set it up for him. So Would you be mad went. if your girl had like her cash app up on her birthday? Like what? Oh, oh my god! Oh my Jesus! I can't stand that, <laughs> that move. And once again, you said my girl, girl, right? Yeah. Ain't my bitch. Yeah, ain't happening. No, that ain't happening. That's no. like that's that ain't like, happening. Dude. That's like wait. This now. This is the question I want to ask. Have you ever borrowed money from your man's friend? No, from your man's from your man's friend. Your man's Absolutely friend. not. From your man's friend. How how do you? Do I that? never even borrow money from my oh, man. I have. You have. See, look, yeah. look, 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 look. Yeah. This, no, no, wait, wait, wait. This is this him? is this is the, not while we were together. It so don't matter no, no, no. ever. No, um, okay. I was with somebody that I grew up with. <laughs> okay, right, and yeah. so his best friend is also my best okay, friend. That's oh, different. that's different. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's different. different. That's different. But no, but, wait, but let me make this very clear. It's my best friend, but they are boyfriends. Uh, so, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm they, about to tell you, you heard that nigga feelings that way day. way stronger friends than you know. Like no lie, my best friend, my this is this is my guy, and I trust yeah. him, and I love him to death. And he listens to the show. He knows who I'm talking about. He knows I'm talking about him. Mm-hmm. He would definitely choose. My ex man over, over me. You. Yeah. Right. But you know what I mean? You're saying when you ask for the money. Huh? You're saying they're both straight? They're straight. Yeah, they're straight. Okay. Yes, but when yes. you asked for the money, did you tell the other one that you did it? Um or did he find out? Well, I needed I needed I needed five bands mm-hmm. quickly. And um Oh man. <laughs> quickly is crazy. <laughs> no, so this is what happened. I needed I needed the five thousand. I was just casually talking to my best friend about it. He was like, No problem, come and pick it up. 
You know what I mean? I didn't ask for it. He he offered it to me. So I took the five bands and whatever. I gave it back to him in like four days. Okay, that's good. First of all, that's a great return. But like, did you? Yeah, I gave it back. I gave it right back to him. I actually didn't need it, so I gave it back to him. I'm telling you, if I found but, out that you um, got money from my man, but I'm no, it never. <laughs> but listen, we're going up. It's I'm going going up. Listen, I'm not but even really friends happened. with my like. We're cool, but I don't like talk to my man's friends. Mm. But um, without him around, no, but uh, but I, he and I. Have hadn't been together yet at that time oh, so yeah. after we were in a relationship i told him like yeah i borrowed money from okay that's a little that's different you know what i mean yeah. and he was like did you pay him back and I was like, of yeah. course I oh, paid that's him real back. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, do you talk to like, that's, if you're dating yeah, a girl, he, it was like cool important. Where, like, do you did talk you pay to her back? friends outside of her when she's not what around? You? Well, it depends on the level of the relationship because I know I have boundaries. So if like I do, I've exercised them and I go like, I, I, I always put the channel of communication through her. Right? right, and if I have talked to your friend outside of you, I'm going to let you know mm -hmm. that we had a communication outside of you. Now, if you condone, be like, "Why are you telling me this, nigga? I know y'all straight." You know what I'm saying? Then that's different because I've forged real relationships with humans. So, like, right. I don't have one of those things where, like, some of my some of the women I've dealt with, I've become close with their family members, and to this day, like, we cool. Like, I pay for shit. Like, like if they need some help or whatever, but they also know that I got them. Like, like the person who introduced me will always, whether we ended good or not gonna always be straight like that's mm. why that's why i can't buy a bag for everybody because i'm gonna be buying bags for, for like, my whole fucking life right? i think that's good i don't think you should buy a bag <laughs> yeah, for don't everybody do that. Not no cool. well, Nanda, what about you would you be cool have you ever been cool with like your a girl you were dating like her her home girls uh i'm cool but i stay i stay out of that uh out of the 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 other female her you know her female situations like that, that oh I no mean, I'm I, really, I stay can't out do of that well, i don't believe in having i don't believe like I don't even have a female best friend. Like I don't even believe in that. Really? But nah. you have female friends. <sighs> there, are, there, are women that, there are women <laughs> that I speak to that I have no plans on sleeping with. Yes. That's a woman. But friend. when I think That's about, a female friend. Right. but what I'm saying of description. No, no, no. We got to be clear we about speak it. To. Okay. We, when we think about when we think about the best friend thing, I'm like. What what possibly are we <laughs> going to connect on <laughs> on some like every day, and we not and. We're, how close are we going to be where nothing, we're, we're not going to do anything? What what I need to talk to you about? What's happening? <laughs> no, I, kind of, I agree with you him. Cool, but I not agree with friends. him if at this point, if you didn't grow up, up with together. somebody who was your a female and your best friend, you guys can't really relate. You guys didn't grow up together. Somebody you know? like somebody and ain't said nothing. But I I guess, like, now, not at this true. point, I can't no, make no, best no, no, friend. No. You, can, best you can have, a, I have plenty of friends that are just friends that I have plenty of guys. No, but I see this. Every no, single I one of them this. niggas. All you said they all want to fuck me? I, I want to say this. All of them this. would fuck you. Be, oh, uh, with fuck exception me. of maybe one or two, okay. which yeah. may be one and I, a half. Yeah, I don't okay. know. I, I, they a all would fuck me if I asked them to, yeah. no matter no, who it is. I have guy friends is. that would, I would never sleep with them. That I don't you would never. But you sleep. know they but would. But I don't think they want to sleep with me either. I don't think they Dude, want to. You know I'm not saying they want to, but I think if I was like, man, I want to get fucked, are you going to come fuck me right now? They're going to come and fuck me. I'm already in the Uber. But now these guys. my friend. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm telling trying you, to explain to the homie. These girl. guys, like her friend, these guys that you guys have in your life, they're doing an incredible job. Yeah. They're supposed to make you feel safe and like they're not interested. That's how we operate. If, if they smart, no guy who would potentially do it would be like, yeah, so what you doing Thursday? <laughs> they're not going to say that. They're right. supposed to feet, sit right up under you, get nice and nestled and comfortable and all of that. They're doing a good job. They know how to respect the line. But at the end of the day, as straight guys, straight guys, we don't op It's always something somewhere back here, even if they don't talk about it, they don't act on it because they're keeping it respectful. Yeah, let's say people work together. But just to be like best, best friends, somebody yeah, I, like somebody, but ain't told nobody. I wouldn't say best friends, but I definitely have guy friends who have never, I don't Good. think, considered that they either. shouldn't do it yeah they respect you that's that's, that's a, those, those are good guys they respect your they respect your line and they know how to just I, keep it i have two male best friends but these are guys i grew up with we made money together they good. taught me things like i i wouldn't even know a lot about my own culture if it wasn't for one of my best friends that's good and I'm he's a enough. male they're moving how but, to move. Like, i want you to get to a girl but best i want to say this mm -hmm. one he did <laughs> 
He did try me when we were kids okay, at first. Ruined, uh, yeah. I know. I'm telling you. As, I'm telling you, there's a thing in the back of guys' mind. It's not saying that all I guys I feel like are if you planning. don't win, you're not going to win the lotto if you don't play, you know? So everybody's going to take their chance on things. That's you crazy. know what I'm saying? And even if the even if the woman had made it clear, like, yo, I'm not going to go there. They know that. They Sometimes, and, and, you know, there's, there's those guys, but then there's also the guys who know they're probably not your type, don't have the confidence to really approach, and they've seen how you, the kind of guys you date, they feel like, man, I'm falling under the radar of those guys. <laughs> so they're not going to really make that move because they say, man, I'm out of her league, some guys feel. So those guys will settle into whatever attention Rizzo. that they can get, they'll take that from the woman. And we'll be friends and hopefully one day. Let hopefully. me ask you this. Have you ever slept with a, a woman that you didn't find attractive? Yes. Guys do it all the time. Not all I the told time. You all, all the women. time? Listen, oh I limit it. I know guys do that all the time. All women For have sure. to be is legal, willing, and, and breathing. No, wait, no, hold on. I That's it. Now, listen, <laughs> my bad. line is still hot. Now, I've slept with women I need that... you to value your dick a little more. Right. No, no, but... <laughs> I'm just speaking generally across the world <laughs> as far as the, the man code. Hey, look, I know we, I look, I know we didn't take it up a lot of times. So I'm going to say this very quickly. I, I've i slept with a woman who I didn't find attractive, but everybody else found attractive. I haven't okay. slept with a woman that I just thought was ugly. It's just... It's just someone who I didn't particularly get why everybody thought she was fine, but she was cool. So she. So you so just she did it because she was cool. Yeah. She and got it was me. like the peer pressure. Of everybody me. liked her. She. It was. It was one of those things where when I was younger and it was like, but then I didn't even tell nobody I did it at the end of the day. She famous as shit, and I still ain't, and I okay. won't because it's All just right. not. She was. She was kind of. I didn't vibe with her like that. Like she was cool, and then it turned out she wasn't. And mm-hmm. then I was like, I'm not proud of this. Well, what's I'm, not name? Proud of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not proud but of this. Never. But you see her, y'all still good. <laughs> like if you run into her. Yeah, yeah, I see her. We cool. Yeah. Okay. But see, it, look, every guy has been with a woman that they ain't none of their homies gonna see. Every guy got That's one crazy. of those. He's like, ah, I'm gonna keep her in the More keep her one. in the basement. Yeah. I don't have Nobody's that. going no, to no. see her. Everyone got one of those. But again, this goes back. Generally speaking, going back to the cheating thing. That's why sometimes when a guy is in a relationship and he cheats on his girl and the girl be tearing herself down, I'm like, that woman has included herself. She's given that woman has given herself way too much to carry. Where a guy is like. It, Cause they be trying to figure, why is this nigga cheating on a girl that don't even look half as what I do? Yeah. Make what I'm like, cause it's not even about in comparison really, yeah. to you. That's just something different. Guys like strange vagina, just something <laughs> strange. It's called vagina. strange. It's just something strange. different. Oh my god, you just taught me something. That's I exactly. You know what? The only pussy the better than listening. You, you heard what that? London it's said. The I had no idea. The only pussy the better than the like pussy is new pussy. Yeah. Vagina. Yeah. Y'all like strange do you vagina. Think women, you think yeah. women like She's strange right. dick? What do you no. ladies think? <laughs> they like familiar dick. No, That's great. no, I like familiar dick yes. that I know how to move yes. and and See do everything. With. That's again right. back to my point. This is why cheating is so different mm-hmm. for a guy. He don't even have to like her. He don't have to be that mostly invested in anything. It's just something to do, something different. That's why the cold part about this is that a lot of people like to knock that side woman. But that side woman be making sometimes can make a nigga go back home and appreciate his real oh, woman no, in a different way. The only, now, that's way on another level. No, this and everybody is, ain't ready for that. No, this is this is this one's important because the only thing better than good pussy is new pussy. And the only thing better or equivalent to new pussy is old good pussy. When you go back. Cause I'm gonna be. Yeah, that's a dangerous that, line. You gotta be careful. That's real. That's right. you gotta no, no, be no, careful. it's true. It's true. You spin the block that, on some pussy that was spinning good. the block on some fire. It might be equivalent to the But pussy. sometimes what happens when you do that, <laughs> you get reminded of why you left her, though. You'd be like, after you do, like, oh, man, this is it. Now, I'm and not talking gotta, about her personality, bro. Where are you bro. going? Where are you leaving, I'm not Malcolm? Talking, no, no, I'm talking, head, bro. I'm not talking about her personality. I'm okay. talking about, like, you know how just, they say, just like, the some, pussy? yeah, just the pussy. Like, there's some, you said it. You said, like, there are some times where a man gets invigorated by an outside situation, come home and got a new pep in his step, and you don't know the fuck why. Just like women, when they cheat, they come home, mm-hmm. and they happier than they usually are, and you're like, what the fuck? I've never had that happen, but I've seen it because I've been on the other end. But she not happy. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I made your that, life better. But the difference is to go back to that energy. Don't go back to that. She wasn't though. sucking dick like that till I touched her. Yeah, Good but luck. she but <laughs> she don't give that nigga back the energy. It's already contaminated. That's why bro. London said he don't want somebody that could do that too good. <laughs> no, I, want, I want her to trust me to to well, but I'm saying if that woman could come back to the house uh-huh. with a new pepper step, the nigga's not getting that energy. It's all the nigga, the other nigga got it, so she'll cook for you and all that. Her mind and her vagina's at this other nigga's house. Yeah, I feel like women 
for me, like I was in a relationship that I cheated on the person that mm-hmm. I was with, and, oh and he's tired of me talking about it on this show, and I'm trying not to, but okay. it was a part of my life. So yep, that deal part. with it. But I cheated on him, and I wasn't nice to him when I came home. I was horrible to him. I'm like sick. every time I cheated on him, he was just was so whack to me. Damn, well, like, I feel bad. Well, then I feel bad for them niggas. I can't help them. I feel bad. <laughs> yes, for them. My but point. you see, when he said men, when they might appreciate their woman no, more. No, no, me, they do. Me going they outside, do. it's like I'm on the phone with my friend. Like as soon as I get my breast done, I'm leaving this. That's motherfucker. See, but that's like <laughs> you say that, that's gone. how you say men and women cheat for different reasons. Yes. Definitely. You no, know, a nigga will fuck a new bitch and then come home and fuck his bitch and feel very good about feel it. Feel happy about it. Yeah. Not women will yeah. will go outside mm. and be with somebody else and it's like, don't touch me, bro. Leave me alone. She already, when I she come home. When he's giving you a bad day and you text that nigga who's good dick, do you don't you get a little little happier? No, you it's like I look at if I'm if I'm texting the one that makes me happy and I'm sitting next to the one I'm cheating on. I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna be here in she my phone. No res- but you should be texting him. You should be texting him making plans with a screw face. So you exactly. have something to look forward to. That's what I always felt like I was the person to look forward to. So I never I don't know what the other thing is going through. I thought she was being nice. Vacation. I thought she was being nice to him. It's giving vacation. Yeah, it's great to be vacation. Don't nobody want to be the fucking. All right, but listen, I, unfortunately, this has to come to an end. See, this wasn't so bad. Yeah, I didn't think it was bad at all. Pretty bad. I'm going to look back at this and really regret everything. Just stop it. Oh, <laughs> no, you not. <laughs> you for and London, are you going to do a stand-up special? Because I know you come from stand-up. You opened yeah, for Chris I'm Tucker fine. early on in your career. And you've yeah, I want to I want to do something. Uh, but this show is just so demanding. Yeah. So, so I mean, you know, even just working clubs out here, I got to, clubs will try to, you know, I may get a call from a friend and say, yo, come pull up. They switch. I swap our schedules around, so it's kind of hard to work work the clubs here. So, but yeah, I like to do some stuff, man. I've been working on some material already, so I just got to line it up and see, you know, because this show, like I said, is demanding mm-hmm. and it's all over the place. We don't even know. It's just, but uh, yeah, that's in the works. That'll be in the works. All right, good. And Thank you. Malcolm, we got to talk about, you know, congratulations on the success oh, of you. your. Obviously, the song with Little Baby really went crazy, though. Oh, nice. It did well. You know, so congratulations on that. It's not luck, and um, that's a fact. It's not luck. It's independent. You did this on your own. Um, how was Paris, you. by the way? Paris was great. London was great. Um, I spoke at Cambridge out there on mm-hmm. on um, anti recidivism and imprisonment and transformative justice, which is near and dear to my heart. Um, and they hosted it at Oxford as well, so that was dope. And then Brent had a show, and you know, I worked on that album. So we did the Paris show. We did the London show. That that's was cool. dope. Yeah, so it was it was all good things, man. So you know, I'm. I, I want to keep doing my work and yeah. man, it's fun, man. You know, and in the song, I'm not lucky. You talk about how this is like you're living your dreams. Yeah. And sometimes you have to feel like, is this real? Damn, that's crazy. You know, you might do this. <laughs> <laughs> that touched me a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah. it's a fact. Like, yeah, congratulations, because you are really, like, honestly, from when we first met to see everything and all of the success that you have, but just it keeps going up. And that's what we want in life, like, every year mm-hmm. to do better than we did the year before. Thank you. Yeah, I got yeah, some sure. more. I'm probably gonna do a feature soon. Oh. Yeah, about, probably about, you know, transformative justice and stuff. So that's that's my next big thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's what we want. All right, good. Well, we're here to support. Thank you. Love Hopefully you. they don't hear this and be like, mm. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> my God. Nah, you know I'll be moving independent so I can say what the fuck I want to say. No, yeah. absolutely. And we love that for you because I don't think it could happen any other way. Right. But uh, Malcolm Mays, London Brown, thank you all so much for joining us. I know you guys have so much fun yes. when y'all are working mm. on Raising Canaan, so... It has to be. We love it here. Yeah. Yeah. You said anytime, right? Yeah, anytime. Whenever you're available. I hate that. I'm loyal to y'all niggas, but I'm here. All right. We appreciate it. I feel like you did good today. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. It's lip service. It It might have been your fault this time. That would have been great. I learned. I like listening. But my my live is this. This is what I talk about. I love the dynamic of people. That's what I was saying earlier. You said you don't like a girl to hear for the white too good. You know what? It's not. I, you start thinking like, why is she so good? <laughs> you know what? The, I don't what think no, I, I wait. Did I say that? I don't know if I said that. I mean, she hasn't practiced. So. <laughs> I honestly, I mean, to we. I know we're closing out the show, but I honestly think the more experience you have, the, the better. better you Absolutely, are practice bed. makes perfect. So y'all think that about yeah. women too, right? The more experience she has, the better. So the thing about it is, when it comes to even with that, is a lot of times women don't they don't want to be with a guy. They trying to teach. They they already grown. They're not trying mm-hmm. to show the dude how to. They would like the guy to be ready, but for a guy, it, guys sometimes don't mind like an amateur did, did learning Jesus. and getting there and showing her how to do exactly <laughs> what he like. I, but I honestly, uh, you know, for the women who are listening, I think that that 
men find it sexy and i think it's sexy too to get directions like oh how oh where oh like that yeah, i think everybody should because say even, that's sexy. Like, or even if the woman plays like she don't know yeah right. that's, that's how you had a lot i don't like that no, not no. necessarily lie, I but like understand to be told what to do. To, I like that. to that guy's ego. Yeah. That's ego. Because a lot of people, again, a lot of times women say, you know, I ain't playing no games. I'm too grown. I'm like, you better learn to play the games. The game, one of the games is this. Mm. The woman knows, right? A woman knows that when they see a guy, if she's going to sleep with him, if she's going to give him a shot, and, and she, the women already got, cool, we mm -hmm. give you that power. You got the power of saying, I'm going to give that guy some. But there's also something within a woman that makes her dope when she knows how to make that guy feel like whatever he, he whoever he whipped up worked. That's just knowing how to stroke the guy's ego. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, even when it comes to, you know, uh, guys suggesting things for a woman to wear, and a woman say, I'm not gonna have a man control me, but I'm like, th this is the dope thing about that. I'm like, when the guys even say, hey, babe, you know what? It'd be really nice if you showed up and you wore this to dinner. Really? Yeah, I like you in the hills and that. I and some that. women can appreciate a nigga telling them, like, mm -hmm. yo, put right. this and put that, there. especially Someone if he can dress. You. Right? <laughs> but then also, when she wears that sexy fit, you know, if the guy, because everybody, every guy's not comfortable, he worried about other guys looking. But if he's comfortable and he ever wear that sexy, whatever, that sheer top and the lace, whatever, I'm like, all of that creates a nice night of tension, flirty energy. And guess what? At the end of the night, all that lustful, a bit in this energy that they've been exchanging over dinner, it goes right back into her. So it's not about him trying to control what she wears. She's creating some energy that mm -hmm. she's going to be able to feel at the end of the night. It's for her. But if you, but again, a guy has to be comfortable because a lot of guys don't like the woman. I like the woman be dolled up. Yes, we know. I like all in the house. No, and some and and some girls will think that a man wants them to house. dress yeah. a little She's slutty a and and. Uh, and the guy wants him to be classy. So I feel like having a man suggest what he likes for his woman to wear is really nice. Oh, man, I do. I, I, I love that. But a lot of guys are into that, but I'm into clothes. I like, so I like, like for my man. That on. I'm I, when I'm in a relationship, I like for my man to dictate my clothes. So I don't bother you. You don't got to give me no shit. You don't want me to wear that? Cool. Thanks for telling me. I won't wear it. Yeah, you, that's why y'all here winning. Y'all better stop playing with her. I'm about to go stop to sleep. Stop playing with her. I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> I mean, whatever no, works, that's dope. That's dope. bro. All right, but this is our second ending. <laughs> oh, right. I, see, oh, see, I thought ending we did the first. Uh, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm not no, you're good. Talk, <laughs> one last thing. Okay. Yeah, I thought we were going to cash. I thought we one, cut it. One last question. Do y'all believe it when a girl tells you, this is the biggest dick I ever had? Your dick is so big. No, when she's saying, or you that. think she's just saying it? What girl You say think that? she's lying? A girl say that? Yeah. Not a lot of women. I think if the girl really likes the guy, I think she'll say that. Right, and do you believe it? You know what? What's interesting? Only thing a guy. <laughs> let me tell you this. Only thing a guy can really go off of, I think, is physical. How physical. often he hears it, and how often the return is. Yeah. Uh, when it, he'll start to know, like, when he call, does she, does she start she moving stuff around? She yeah. find a babysitter, get the house cleared. Then mm -hmm. you got. She, it. When he called, does she, <laughs> does she slide? But and I don't if, think that has to do with size. I, I think that has to do with the whole experience. No, if you're not... Remember, I don't cater to make people feel... Like, like, like <laughs> certain niggas make women feel extra comfortable so that you'll move around for them even if they're inadequate mm -hmm. in other ways. I'm, I'm very honest with you. I'm going to treat you like a regular human. So I don't, you're not moving shit around for me unless the dick's great. Like, and I make okay. it that way. Um, so you say women tell way. you that all the time. Well, I, I've been complimented in ways and I feel like it's just been unanimous in certain ways. But like, <laughs> I fuck women who don't even like me as a human when I was younger. Like, they didn't even like me, but they but fucking. So at some so point, the sex that's, is good. The, that's how, that's the only the way I knew. You're right. Because why else are you here? You don't even enjoy me as a human. You're Her here for inventory women. might be low. <laughs> Might be low. <laughs> not, not these women. Their inventory was not low. Oh, you don't no. even enjoy wow. me as a human. Oh yeah, you don't even like me as a human. I You're here like, for dick. Um, I feel like if if I'm gonna say the the dick is big, it's because it's really big, and it's like I need you to chill, right? Because <laughs> you're hurting me. That's, oh, another, that's another one. Sign. That's another sign. If, 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 if it's like, some resistance, yes. if it's, it's the, push the push conversation back. after like. Like or the sex is too long. Like, bro, you fucking me too long. Like, we gotta, we gotta. Somebody said that. To yeah, you? if I'm like, like oh my times, god, yeah, your you dick chill. is so big. It's not because I like it. It's, it's just not too much. I'm happy about this. It's because <laughs> it this hurts. is a problem. The, right. now, the and reason I'm not that like the crazy problem is like a lot that. of guys facts. are having sex by way of ego, yeah. and so they just you know, they I'm, they like, hurt about, I'm like, is it, bro? Do you want her to enjoy this? Or, or are you, you trying, just to trying to kill the pussy? Because if you kill the pussy, it will die. It's like what you trying to do. So it's a fine balance of 
of, well, you of, kill- of making your mark, but also <laughs> making sure she has making a Making your mark. When guys are younger, they like to hurt you. But what? then as y'all get That's older, what I'm saying. That's the ego. Yeah, but as you get older, yeah, you Robert want her to... This is, why, this is why there are some forms, I think, of mentorship from older <laughs> people, like with women, that like I didn't learn like that. I learned <laughs> the different way. So I don't... I they never want you to like that. not be able to walk. And yeah, but that's, that's also terrible. Even, but if that's a guy's a doing that, you said, you it mean, you said come rabbit, out sideways. The he, rabbit sex, <laughs> right? If a guy's having a lot of times, it, it pause on all this. But if the guy's having <laughs> rabbit sex, then that means he can't, he can't go with a slower stroke because he's gonna be out. So he gotta stay in there and move. Ah. But if, if he got some size, he gonna he get you this. He gonna slow down. <laughs> And that's the truth. Hey, bro, no, y'all got like, Lennon talk. Bro, know, Lennon never even, talks this even, much. Even, no, ever. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. But, like, but this is a blue but tea talk I'm, today. But a guy would, like, really right. try to blue pound you out. Well, like, they want to hear the sexy rap. Bow, bow, bow. But that's some hear, booty cheeks vibes. You can hear that just from vibes. moisture. You can hear that from moisture. You can hear that from all types of things. Like No, but when a guy's trying to really hurt you, he's hurt trying to crazy. slam on your shit. It's horrible. He wants you to throw his ball slapping on you. Well, the ball slapping on the foot's okay. I haven't experienced that. Many right? years that's an of addition. my life. That's <laughs> crazy. Duggan is crazy. Like, me, uh, like, I get it, but like, no. Nah, that's bro, that aggressive I shit you were talking about in the beginning when they, when they, when you start a problem and he's mad at you, he's trying to fuck your shit up, and it's like, bro, this is painful. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, there, there 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 are instances where you where you slap her a little harder on the ass than you were supposed Some to. Some say that's good pain, that right? That's, that's what she was talking about. It's still got to be pleasurable at the end of the day. It's got to be in between an orgasm or clitoral stimulation, and then you know you can't just be in here just. Full. What if a girl slaps you? I've I had a girl put like a fucking Dominican. <laughs> God damn these men. I, I know you're Puerto Rican, <laughs> but like Dominican women are fucking crazy, bro. I swear to God, I love them dearly, but they are nuts. That's the only woman I've ever had try to choke me. And I was like, uh, "What is you doing, bro?" Was, was, it, like, was it when you were you about to come? You'd be Guys really like that shit. <laughs> there are no, but girl, was it? Which, was it like mid just sex, or was it like it was at like the end when you was about to come? Like, and I, by the way, like, I'm like. I'm not like I, I could tell that I was like because yo nigga air restriction this. can re- <laughs> air restriction can increase the intensity of your I'm working. sure I'm you know what and in the Angela middle of the night you can you and yeah. you say it like something that should be done asphyxiation and I hear you, is me. what it's called but I feel like in the heat of the moment it's you're sexy. not supposed to stop her from that I right stop. I said get this sh- what the fuck like, is wrong with you nigga you like, see that I said <laughs> what the fuck you're supposed to rock with it okay. no I said I'll do whatever you want me to do. Don't be doing shit to me. I but that's why every experience with a with a different partner is new. That's why yes. women would ask a ridiculous question, and I don't not to knock them, but a lot of women just don't know. They'll say, "Well, what's your favorite position?" I'm like, all that is different depending on the body weight, mm-hmm. how tall she is, <laughs> and how she moves. Doggy style might work for this one, and then on top might work for her. You, there's no set kit because well, if there's no set kit if the guy has. A range of what he kind of deals with. If the guy's only sticking to something like this, then he might have us locked in. But that guy's dealing with thicker women, shorter women, taller women, Asian, and this and that. It's a different. You can't. You gotta adjust to whatever that situation case is. Case by case scenario. Yeah, yeah. yeah because right. every woman can't take what they. I heard this other thing where somebody was like, they said smaller women. Yeah, small take the women D, take, take better. Take it's true. Better. I don't. I disagree. What do you mean, women. like it's true. Um, skinny? You some skinny it's women. true. It, they yeah. have to take better. Yeah. I disagree. Yeah. It's a fact. I disagree. Yeah. Anyone under five, five? Yeah, it's a fact. I disagree. Oh, you're talking about short and height. We're, yeah. we're talking about. I guess we gotta go. We gotta go because we got another session. We're out of here. Let's go. This is after camera. We'll do this again. We need a part two because we want to be on white tea talk with you. That'd be great. But again, Malcolm London, thank you all so much. It's lip service. Thank you.